I'm trying to understand better on how that works. So I'm playing with the topic of it a little bit, but I'm trying to get banned. So I, I'm I'm buffering my shit a little bit on and off, and I try some things, and some things work and it doesn't. But um, overall, I don't I don't do it as like as like as a kind of my own heart. I test the waters. Does that make sense? Uh, in your like perfect world, do you think you should be able to do it though? Um. Um. So sensitive sensitive topic. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it depends what. Right? And I think we're a little bit ahead of the industry. Because I think down the line, I predict a certain change that I'll talk about later if you want. Um, and I think it's a little bit too, too fast, but yeah. But it just depends on what the selection is. You have to be able to selection. Okay. Um, so, like, it, uh, I assume you're similar with Destiny, maybe, and I'm not sure if Hassan has a position, but, like, it's, it's partly to do with your position on copyright, like an IP. No. No, nope. the lock, the lock and suck it. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I understand. I shouldn't say things like this, right? But it comes down to to these laws. I think a lot of them are flawed, old, defunct dog shit, right? And when it, I, I don't, I don't really use it as a moral compass. I think morality and legality are, are two com different um, areas entirely. And people mix them together whenever they, it fits their narrative, and sometimes they they don't. And I think um, playing that little push and pull game is really cringe. Uh, that's my actual take. I think that's totally fair. Let's stay fully away from uh, from the law. We'll stick strictly to morals. But uh, what I mean then when I say it is like a lot of people think, morally speaking, that we should have rights to our intellectual property, right? Like the morally, yes. yeah. So gunning straight from that, I think the whatever I create and whatever you guys create and whatever anyone creates, there should be a limit on before anyone can reuse it for their own purposes. Yeah. To, you know, a crazy extent or to uh, smaller extents. And then, of course, we all have lines on where we consider it transformative. But I assume you're in favor of that, at least to some degree. Yeah. Because, um, like, you wouldn't want people re-uploading everything you do uh, without adding to it and making money off it, I assume. You have to be really careful when you ask, yeah. especially big streamers, that question. Because I'm pretty sure XQC, even me, I would never give a fuck. I don't care. Yeah. I, like, I'm, you, I'm, I don't care. Yeah. Um, but there's scenarios where you would, right? Like, if they um, start getting more viewership than your no. re-uploads? The They're only way that I would care about it would be is if I did, like, a podcast and somebody cut that particularly and they got it on YouTube before I got it from yep. a stream to YouTube. Yep. That would be, like, and one circumstance where I would care. But other than that, not even if people got more views than me, I would just consider it really good exposure. And that's the most important thing for me as a streamer is exposure, so. Yeah, and on top of that, on top of that, not only, not only that, when that happened to me, I just hired him. That's it. Literally, I just, I just, I just hired the guy, right? Because if, 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 if he gets ahead of me, Overall, he does a good job, and if he does a good job, why wouldn't I have it on my, on my team instead, right? Um, <clears throat> it's my yeah. content, and so he gives a better job, I'm gonna hire him then. Or what if they refuse? Um, if they refuse, it sucks, it never happened before, because a lot of the people that do that are fans of the content, so they just do it. And it's more money for everybody else, because we can uh, convert everything together. It's better for the algorithm, better for revenue, better for everything, there's no, there's no arguments against it. You would uh, experience some form of benefit, I wouldn't deny that, but like, if it was ultimately proven that they were still getting most of the money and you weren't, especially on platforms you might not even be interested in, you're just going to let it sort of happen in the hopes that it will benefit you ultimately? Um, okay, that, that, I don't think that's, that's ever, I've never encountered that type of, of, of um, ecosystem, right? So I think some of these hypotheticals, hypotheticals don't, are tough. For them to, to find one of them in the real world, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, does, does that happen very often? It hasn't happened to me before, and I haven't seen it before, so it's kind of difficult to make a, a, an assumption or a, a, on how that would be like, right? Okay. Um, so well, it's, it's difficult, uh, well, unless you have a, you have some data or something or an example you want to show me. Wait. So it sounds like you're hyper progressive on the idea of people being able to move content around, but that you want like an exclusive sort of, even if it's a day, uh, access to, for audiences to come to you yes. first. Whatever Absolutely, you make. yeah, yeah, and you know what? It's, it's a good topic. You bring that up, right? Because people think that like streamers are really dumb about that, right? And when we don't know about that, um, it's actually worse for us somehow because we it's all about live engagement for us, right? So that things are in real time, and sometimes um, when things are live and very personal and aren't really meant to be shared, except for the I want the experience to be to be here for the reasons um, that are like um, for interactivity, like polls and and com convenient engagement. Um, it's gonna be bad to have like how do you call that? Um, people react live because it, it's gonna it's gonna really cannibalize not only the the viewer and analytics, it's gonna cannibalize the actual core experience. 
and it'll damage the product, which doesn't happen at all with videos, especially if you put a buffer in between when the video was released and then reacted to and then uploaded. So uh, if we then implemented that, what do you think the consequences would be sort of industry-wide or worldwide with media? Like if we were all, if copyright only lasted one day? Oh, one day? Is that an example, Mona? Or were, were you uh, as a, as a... Whatever timeline you want to go with that's less than, let's say, a week. I, I think it should be tailored to whatever the person wants. Because Mr. Beast wants it to be immediate, and other guys want it to be six months, and other guys want it to be uh, never. So it's very difficult to find what people want as a whole, as a, as a, as a medium. I, mean, you would, I think it's case by case. Well, so there's an angle that um, if we were to actually run that in like a worldwide setting, the uh, corporations would dominate because they would be able to find ways of basically absorbing all of the best content that's made. And then the incentives to create said best content would start to lessen and lessen because people can't control their own engagement. Instead, it would all go to content sort of yeah, curators. Yeah, absolutely. And then we should go in those directions. I think when these become a problem, the ecosystem becomes out of balance, which I don't think anybody has shown yet at all. And I'm waiting for somebody to show me that it's it's a, it's bad. Well, so like, I, don't, I, haven't, I, I haven't seen it. I don't think it would be out of balance yet because this is uh, very much on the lower levels. This is just some content creators that are more engaged with and then some of the ones at the top being able to snip from ones that are lower to mid or ones that have given position at the top as well. Like this is the beginning. I think you, you mentioned, right, you assume that this is going to change as time goes on. I believe for the worse, you believe for the better. Oh, 100%. 100%. You want to know why? Sure. Because people enjoy it. People like it. It's a product. People consume it at mass. And I think we owe it to ourselves to explore these options that are shunning away as far as we can because of, oh my God, the small guy might be losing money. And I think it's a really fucking stupid argument and we're losing on value. We're losing on actual human enjoyment and people will realize that once the money lines up with that. Do you, Otherwise, uh... people, people, people didn't like React. They wouldn't fucking watch React. Well, um, I assume we all agree that there are plenty of things the world and people want that we consider to be worthwhile in terms of making illegal slash uh, disencouraging gotcha. them. Gotcha. Give me an example. Any, any, like, I, I would say I would start with extremes. Like, maybe people want to watch... Well, maybe people want to watch two kids fight to death. It's like, we, we can't have that. Paste. Sorry. <sighs> all right. <laughs> My bad. Every, every time Desi talks, uh, or has a take... I, I literally lose a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. What? Actual <laughs> fucking black mold takes this guy, man. I'm canceled by small groups. Then he fucking opens his mouth. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. These are these, these are bad. Yeah, they, 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 uh, these are bad. But I think these are bad because of the nature of it, right? The, the root behind it is just like a an actual fucking crime, right? Um, where well, careful, not like crime because the DMCA, right? Th theoretically, if what you were doing was illegal, I don't think you still think it would be wrong, right? Uh, I mean, like I said, like, we already approached the illegal aspect of it, but I think as a, for that topic, it, it, oh my god, I did. Um, I, I think, I think that um, some things just, just aren't enforced, and for a good reason, right? And I think comparing that to something that is massively enforced, enforced at 100% rate, and for the right reasons as well, is pretty disingenuous of a, of a pathway for an argument. So, of course, I would start to bring it down and be like, so we do agree there are times when even if the audience desperately want it as a whole, we don't allow it to happen. And yes. Be like, so why do we allow something like what you might do with, let's say, a Lemino video versus uh, something else? And I would be like, we do kind of allow in a good way for reactors uh, or responders, however people want to use the term, to convert videos from whatever they were into something new. Um, but that there's obviously going to be the... Was I correct in... Uh, I think you, you already said, actually, you're fine with a, a full re-upload because you would just either buy the channel out or uh, they're allowed to do it as long as it's like a week after or whatever. Um, okay, so my take on that is kind of complicated. So it depends what the nature of the content is, right? That, I think, is a big fucking deal. If, if, you're, if I'm reacting to a story... Okay, about a about a child that becomes an adult, and it's like it's like it's pathway through it, right? Or or it's 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 growth through life, right? And I'm reacting to it, and I'm, I'm like, well, I have to be very much transformed about this content. I really, I don't want to hurt the guy who has the the, the, the copyright ownership to this. I'm gonna go full cam for ten minutes after the intro of the movie, and then I will have a take about the story after it happened, right? And then it's like, well, the whole. Thing is important, right? I want to talk about the whole thing. I want to show it with chat. I want to, I, I want to, I want to show the entire thing because every part is important, right? The every part is important. Otherwise, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, uh, it's gonna be like, okay, I'm writing to this at the beginning, 
right? And it's like, oh, well, I can't react because they're talking about something. So I cut the whole part out. It, does, it makes no sense at all. Like, it, it, it's zero. Um, as much as that logic could be used for a lot of things, someone could extend it really far, being like, I need this 20 minutes of context before I can talk about the thing I want to talk about for one minute, and then, you know, go on from that, like an hour uh, ratio to five minutes or whatever. Um, whereas I would be like, if you are unable to provide content beyond that limit, then it shouldn't be a video you respond to. You should just find some, uh, one that's better. One it's, that's why, better. it's why I don't upload the videos that I don't think um, that much. I, I, I try them to tell my editors mm -hmm. on the fly. Yeah, don't upload this. Don't do that one. Don't do this. Don't do that. Because sometimes you, it's only after the fact because it's, it's live content. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a visionary I don't, I, or, or a, a savant. I don't see in the future if it's going to be good or not. I just watch it. And if it ends up being not very reactive, okay, don't, don't, don't upload it because it's whatever, right? But you're okay with doing it on stream because it's a different platform? Uh, because I, I think people overall accept it more as an argument, right? But I really wouldn't give a fuck. I, it, to me, it doesn't really matter. Like, it, it, yeah, because to try and clean it up, I start and stop at transformative. Transform it or don't. As in, transform it and you're fine, or don't and don't do it at all. Rather yeah. than we sort of oh. try it out okay. on stream fully, and if it didn't work, oh well, we don't upload it to YouTube, but we still benefited fully from the video on the stream. I still think or that's bad. Or benefited fully? I mean, at that point, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, some videos are so bad, my chat would, would rather watch me like actually go full cam and take a nap. Like, I, like actually, than watch the shit that I watch sometimes, right? Does that does that make it any like does that like I don't think it's a very well, good well, but that would still art. be that's your responsibility, not the videos. Yeah, yeah, but did it damage the video to that point? Did it did it did it did it ruin them or fuck them over in a way that like I'm doing that because I don't want to make my own content or something like that or like I well, feel like so it's not it's a bad it's a, I think it's an argument in bad faith. Eh? If um if you're saying like the video wasn't interesting enough and thus chat got bored and I couldn't react much to it, therefore I lost out. It's like well, that's still on you as an entertainer, right? Um, yeah, I hundred percent. But I'm just saying, like, don't make the the opposite argument because I, because I'm making that point. Uh, like, don't. Uh, there's no point doing a 180 here on wait, it because I can't prove the opposite. Are you saying that like I can't say that you still benefited? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I I still think they were gonna get something out of it, whether I like it or not. Even though Terry got bored or not, does that make sense? Like, so um, my argument would be that you passed over entertain like the term babysitting comes up, right? You've passed it over to someone else, and then they failed to entertain your audience, and now you're saying it's their fault. It would be your fault. So, oh, never. That's uh, I mean, I can make that argument and be disingenuous about it, and I do sometimes just add uh, fucking with it, but um, um, like I don't, I don't actually believe that. Okay, so then that's what I'm saying by you will always benefit because either you get all of the entertainment value from them or that they fail to entertain your audience and that you just move on. Like, there's no, there's no negative, that's just neutral. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 those that get something out of it, I mean, let's be honest, if they got bored, they wouldn't watch it themselves either. They would, they would literally yeah, sure. not click on it. I think that... So well, I think there's a positive, and my negative is a positive for them, right? And I try, to, I try my best not to, uh, well, when, all the time, to, to be like, oh, guy, this is dog shit. Like, eh, like yeah, if it's not, if something's really dog, if it's dumb. Um... But like, you know, like, not gonna be ungrateful like that. I think it's just mean or it's useless, you know. Uh, considering what you just said, right? That the if the video is boring, they're not gonna go seek it out. Wouldn't your negative also be the content creator's original content creator's negative as well? Now they'll be thought of as a boring creator that your channel. No, might... no, 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 because no, because um, I think my, everyone's audience is different and special in their own way, and some things will line up. Personality-wise, but something I like, and when I have fun, Chad has a lot of fun. A lot most of the time, that's kind of the, the base of streaming. If you don't have fun, nobody has fun, right? And um, that's been proven time and time again. So I try to find things that I am actually interested in. So Chad will be interested. Overall, I think it reflects a lot on, on on the audience. If I like something, there's a good chance they might like it a lot, right? It happens very rarely, like Jubilee, where I like it. Chad thinks it's fucking dog shit, and you know what's fucking for that because um, I like it. But um, things that I show interest or I'm focused on, or I'll talk about it with passion, they are usually on board with it. Um, it's why that won't be the same thing for everybody else. Uh, some of the things that Asmin, uh, um, something that something that Asmin will watch, I'll watch, and it will kill my career forever. Because it's that fucking bad. But um, if I continue to watch that type of content, but at the same time, um, it lines up with me because I don't want to enjoy that content either. Right? So it's, there's like a lineup there. Right? Um, I mean, the... All of, obviously, we'd need all the statistics on it, I guess, at that point to know for sure. But uh, I would just assume that if it goes one way, as in the praise of the video or the engagement with the video would cause people to uh, think better of the creator, that the reverse would happen as well. 
Um, it really depends. Like, it, it like it, if I watch a, a a fighting game video lore of, of three hours about how um John from Tennessee has uh, overcome fucking uh, Justin at Evo, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, like. Nobody gives a fuck, but the creator that actually likes this type of game was very invested in it because he knows all the lore and his channel's the lore. Everybody's more interested. It's like a win-win, you know? Otherwise, it's not, I don't think, uh, really, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I, that's my take. Okay, um, so on transformative as an argument, do you think, because you've said that you would take it down if you were asked by the creator, is that right? 100%. So why? Would I, would I take it down? Yeah, why would you take it down? Don't you think you're in the right for having well, transformed it? Yeah, but I care. But you what, sorry? But I care. You care? Yeah, I care. Right. You I ca care about their video. I care, I care about watching it. I care about their content. I care, I care about them to a certain extent. But yeah, you can say that as much as it benefits me. But I generally care about, about that video and about that, that person. Um, if they want me to take it down, I take it down. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't need a video. I want it. Oh, okay. Want and need are two different things. So you can't. For instance, if uh, Destiny was asked by Ben Shapiro to take down coverage of his videos, and the only argument was, "I just want it down." That's my preference. Would you do it, Destiny? The fucking Daily Wire already DMCA'd the last thing I <laughs> fucking. Reacted. Okay, yeah, but not um, under the under the guise speaking, of just. If somebody, it's if my somebody asked me to remove a video, almost every time I'm going to lean into yes on that. The only exception would be if I feel like it's a very valid, very necessary critique or something, yeah. and somebody's just trying to censor things off the internet, then I probably wouldn't. So but it's, yeah, say we're going to depend, yeah. So Ben Shapiro's a hard one because we're getting into the political world. Let's say Ben Shapiro puts out a video saying that, like, we need to take away all trans rights in the United States, and then I react to that video, and then he's like, can you take that down? Like, I don't appreciate using that much in my video. i probably tell him to, like, kick rocks or something, right? And then we mm -hmm. go DMCA fight or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, but 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 if I will like normal, that. yeah, like if I watch like that Lemino video, and if my editor is fucking retarded and decides to throw that up on my YouTube channel, which he shouldn't, but if he did, and then that guy emailed me, he was like, "Could you take that down?" I'd be like, "Yeah, sorry, like I'll ask you if I'm going to use another video in the future of yours." Yeah. Yep. But again, and by the way, yeah. Out of all people, I I swear, like if you want actual, because people all, like always data and and whatever. Out of all people, the amount of data that I have and the combos of people and creators is exorbitant. So like. You're not, and I'm not the, 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 I'm not gonna get like, like fucked over here on that. Like, I will back it up if you want me to. So, um, I, I, it's good that we've considered like if, if it was necessary content, we would keep it up. But what if you've put effort in? You, you consider yourself like, let's say you've given commentary that doubled the video in size, you've checked out like actual statistics to support or decry whatever they say in the video. You actually like put some good work into it, but they said, I still want it down. I put it down. Uh, my my job is child's play. D streaming is a degen, bottom of the barrel human behavior, right? But when I like a video and I do it for fun and I enjoy it, right? I think the video was good. I don't give a fuck if if, the, if I think it's good or not. I take it down because okay. I will find something <laughs> to do any day of the week, any day of the day. I will continue doing that and provide that because there's a there's a difference between a golden goose and a golden golden egg, you know, like it. Um. That's my take. Yeah. Referring to your uh, work as DJ and bomb of the barrel, like I don't, I don't. I was about to like defend you on your behalf and say, well, it's not worthless. No, oh no, it is. It is. I absolutely no. I, I streams and live content are literally second monitor exclusive things, and they will always remain that for the most part. It 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 absolutely is. Anybody who thinks that it's not is stupid because they're comparing it to produced content at 100% pr uh, production, if, and it's an uphill battle argument to make. It's stupid to make. You don't need to try it. But if you feel that way, then do you understand why people are as angry as they are? Um, no, because the people that are angry, nobody watches their shit. Okay, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you already consider the format to be bottom of the barrel. They're saying right. that something like Lemino is top of the cream of the crop, and then you put out your video that's main value comes from Lemino's video, and so oh, therefore... Oh, okay, okay. The, the, the argument the, that I kind of put forth initially, no, 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 no. that a lot of people are both, because it's like low effort versus high effort, and people get a little bit... You guys both jealous. failed. You guys are both failing now. You guys are both failing it. You missed uh, uh, an important component. Okay. The action of streaming is bomb the barrel dog shit, right? The product as a full-fledged product is actually ahead of the curve. The, the chat experience, 
the sense of community, the sense of camaraderie, and uh, 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 the social aspects of that are are severely misunderstood, and they're they're very 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 valuable, right? And the whole combo of the of the stream, the chat, and everything, the product itself is very 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 good, but the behavior of the human behind it is degenerate. Yes. Okay. Uh... So. Uh, yeah. So, uh, in the world that, let's say, Lemno puts the video out and then a hundred thousand streamers all do their reactions and they all upload, I assume we all agree that the audiences are not going to spread equally to all of them. Instead, it will be people like you and uh, uh, Asmongold, etc. You know, the established lads. Yeah, that... yeah, yeah. I understand where you're going with this. Uh, uh, I understand. Uh, yes. Streaming, videos, any, anything on the internet, uh, with, with media, is very top-heavy and very much capitalistic in that. And uh, most arguments made uh, against that are usually like actual brain dead fucking commie Andes. I'm just gonna keep it a stack. So if you can try to approach it that way, you're, I think you're gonna get crushed. But go ahead. I, I'm not. I, I, honestly, I'm I'm trying to figure out a lot of this with understanding your mindset on it as well. So makes sense, yeah. Um, considering all of what you, what's been said, like, could we not see a, a future where it will only benefit the people who are established already if we all agreed that you were right on this and we all felt. That we should well, be in able terms to of streamers, yeah, but not in terms of YouTube, right? Because the video will perform and will continue to perform as long as it makes good videos. Well, uh, as we, I, I'm assuming you guys know about like uh, what Jax Films has been doing with um, XX Sniper Wolf. I forget the full name or how the name is said, but that uh, she'll be reacting and getting millions and millions of views from TikToks that are all grabbed from people who have as low as like a hundred views and they never yeah. found. Would you would you okay. say that that is unacceptable? No. Not. Um, I couldn't care. Literally couldn't care. They, they, these guys aren't taking off, haven't taken off, will not take off, and have no ways of doing so. Um, unless they will, and that, whatever she's doing, isn't affecting that in any way that's negative. If anything, it's a positive. Flat out. Are you saying that the market would have defined whether or not they were worthwhile? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Destiny, what do you think about that? Oh, you can laugh if you want. I'm right. Sure. <laughs> I mean, often enough, they're gonna keep right. posting it, and she's gonna stop reacting it, and they won't make it because their content fucking sucks. Their shit is fucking garbage. Yeah, I mean he's probably right, but I mean I wouldn't say it that way. You think he's right? That the market? The no, 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 no. He doesn't think I'm right. He knows I'm right. There's a massive difference. Here's this is my if I was to argue this, which I won't, because it's such an optics L, and I'll let XQC go eat all those optics Ls. Um. What I would say is that, like, people are just mad at React content because streamers are seen traditionally as lazy compared to people that put a lot of, like, preparative work into their content. Uh -huh. um, and the reality is, is that, like, all React content does is it makes some streamers richer and it makes a lot of audiences happy because they can view something. Really, it's just, like, a ton of upsides with probably no downside. The only downside is a perceived or illusory loss that the original content creator feels. Well, that's not what I so asked you. the question... Well, what do you mean? Or I'm sorry, what did you I'm, ask? I'm asking about the fact that those TikTok creators are all getting like zero views. Meanwhile, Sniper Wolf gets all of them by reacting to all their content. That that's happening because them on their own would never get any engagement because they're not good enough. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, yes, I don't. Th I don't yes. think they would. I don't think that somebody watching Sniper Wolf's channel, if she wasn't uploading those, I don't know if they would be on TikTok discovering those low view TikToks. That's not. That's, like that's not the point either. Well, obviously, my conclusion would be that they may be found someday, but for now, they're not, and instead, they're just going to get eaten by her. She can take advantage fully of okay. that. Then, then, right, but then, like, then. But, but there's another situation where it's just her gaining, and then her audience gaining, but if we ax out her gains and the audience's gains, that's it, we've just deleted, well, So what like... is the correction, then? We can have her promote them, right? Okay, okay, wait, 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 no, I have it, I have it taken. The, um, the, here's the actual thing. If you want to be a creator, and you want to shit the pump off, you create. Right, in a lot of ways, maybe the first thing that they'll make won't have that effect, right? But the boost that, that, that they're gonna get when they make another video will pop off. If you want to make one video when it could have went hard, and you say, "Well, in another world, it would have been hard, and it would have been viral, whatever." Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can make me right, but like, is that is that what you are? A seven tick, seven, seven, a seven second TikTok forever, and that's, you are one creation forever. Well, no, the and you're gonna model that is... the potential of what it could have had. I think that's very generous. The implication is, of course, that they create a whole library of strong content that she just gets to pick and choose whichever one she wants to react to. Like, we're not, I assume, conceding that she's the one that makes the videos valuable by reacting to them. Because you, you said, like, they're never going to pop off. And it's like, so why does she pop off? I, I assume you guys have seen her reactions that are terrible. Like, she just goes, oh my well, um, god. It does, that, no, 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 I'll stop there. 
See, you fell for it, man. I, I had a high hope. I, I, as an argumentator or a debater, you I had high make... hopes for you, and you just fucking fell on your face. I, I, I'm now, now I'm sad. You made me sad now. You gonna you, make you the social the, argument? You fell. Well, no, you, you fell for the rookie bait. It's, it's super rookie, because now you don't view it as good, or uh, you don't see its value. Therefore, everybody, nobody sees that. No, it has no value. No, right? I, I can people answer why people are there. Successful. I already answered why people are there. It's because why? of the TikTok. They're interested in the actual content. Abs oh, oh, that, that's no, just stop. Go ahead. TikTok wasn't doesn't exist, and she was successful. What? But, well, yeah, but she, I don't know what she was stealing before. I only know what she's stealing oh, now. Oh, she always she, no, now you make an assumption that she always stole then. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but then you then you're making an assumption by default then. You are de facto making no, assumptions at that point. I haven't yes, said you that are? she's stolen no. anything. What? Yes, you do. Yes, you are. The nature of your argument is de facto. You you the opposite. What? No. Can you help me on this? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, I said I don't know where how she got to where she was before she started but, stealing TikTok. But it has value. But you agree that it has value. Sure. I don't know what I have no context for okay, what she did before. Okay, then your opinion on whether it's valuable or not is irrelevant because the stats and the fact that she's valuable to other people is enough on its own. I have no idea what point you're trying to make. Oh my god. I don't know what you, what you I don't know idea what you okay, are so, trying to make by saying, well, if you know TikTok, she wouldn't get any views. Oh my god, come on, bro. You don't no, that. no. So I'm I'm taking what you told me, which is that these TikTokers they'll never be able to work on their own. Her doing yes. it is what's giving it value. I'm yes. saying she doesn't add any fucking value. The the videos themselves are what people are interested in enjoying. She's just collecting them. And then you said, well, where did she get her fame from before the TikToks? And I said, I don't know. Um, I think you were misrepresenting the way the argument went. Like, um, for the sake of looking better, I uh, I genuinely think that the. Opinion uh, on that is is irrelevant. Is genuinely irrelevant. Okay, so l l let me let me break it. Let me break it down. Um, I think underplaying the hybrid combination of multiple factors, such as her watching it, her being who she is, and her lore behind her, right? I think plays a massive role, if not the entire role, behind the success of the video, regardless of how good TikTok is. I have I've seen TikToks that have zero views and will never get any views, right? And I'm just really dumb, and I don't even get the joke because I speak French. And chat will like the reaction because I have a funny reaction, but they don't even understand why, why it's valuable or why, it, why it's good. Because the combo of the both, they enjoy it. And as value, whether you perceive it as valuable or not, is fucking irrelevant. Um, what, what was there? I'm not sure what I'm responding to. That your perception yeah. on the why it's doing good is pretty relevant. Um, if you're trying to discredit, like, oh, well, well um, on their own, they wouldn't even do good. I mean, what makes her, well, My I don't know what does that. on it's why not, they're doing it, good it, is it, momentum. That they've already got, I don't know, I, I'm not even, I wouldn't be able to tell you how Destiny started his momentum, because I wasn't there. Neither can I say that for you. All I know is something, it might have been to do with Overwatch, I don't know. In any case, the, the, the way you can maintain momentum in an easy way is, of course, continuing to do whatever it is that viewers came to right. you for, but to also yes. use these videos. They're like placing tracks down for your train. They're easy. And I think that's unethical. Oh! Oh, I, I, I get it. So this is more of an argument because you're yeah, molding because of career choice, and you could be making more money with less effort, so you're, you're, you're mauled that people are making money, and you're not, uh, based on the fact that how much effort you have to put in, on your, in, your, in your work field. I don't mind. Or in your, in your field of work. I don't mind if you or Destiny or anyone else makes a huge career from reacting to videos if you're transforming them. That's totally fine with me. If you steal them, that's where we have a problem. Well, well actually, I'm really shocked by XGC kind of moved me on this topic because what he said about Sniper SS Wolf <laughs> is actually super true. Oh, uh, no. I, I really couldn't believe it. I, when he made that comment, I was like, oh, shit, he's right. At the end of the day, whether. Wait, wait, wait. Can you say which comment in particular just so everybody can. The most recent one where he said basically, Sniper, we all criticize her way of doing stuff and everyone's making her the poster child at the moment. But the fact is the audience sees a tremendous amount of value of watching it with her because they come for her reactions as well. And for them, it's important to watch it. They wouldn't want to watch a lot of these stuff without her being there. So yeah. uh -huh. even though it may not seem transformative to a lot of you guys and a lot of the pokes criticizing her, the truth is for the audience, it is transformative in that they would not be consuming the content any way, shape, or form if it wasn't for her. I don't buy that for a fucking second. They would happily oh, watch my... other people react to it. They would happily bro, watch bro, it on their bro. own if they caught it. Uh, if, if that was true, I would be a nobody. I would have never made it. I would be broke as fuck. That was true. That's it. Flat, flat out. I'm a fucking nobody, and I probably nothing of value. I'm only here because if, I made I made these choices, and these combos actually worked out. That's it. 
Sure. If I, if um if that were true, then why would people stay even if you're not commenting at all? Uh, for the community, maybe for the community. Yeah, that's a different argument. I'm talking. You said sniper wolf. Like, I said I'm, the I'm package. Saying... Yeah, it could be for the comments. It could be. It could be for the lore. The the, the, the sense that everybody knows. Oh my god, everybody, everybody has a reason why they watch, right? People downplay the, the the lore of stuff. People go in the comments and they they enjoy interacting with other people that saw as many videos as her, uh, as her. They make comparisons to her old videos and so they did them in the past or jokes she made a long time ago, right? And they enjoy her and her content. It's on their front page. There's a multiple reasons why people watch something. There's so many of them, and a lot of them are social aspects, and they're part of the product. And diminishing the whole product because you don't agree with one part or another are stupid. My product is dog shit times because of me, and sometimes it's dog because of, of what's on screen or, or what's happening in chat, right? When things work, things work in tandem and in certain percentages or ratios to make a full fledged good product that is desirable. Okay, um, do you think that if uh, Sniper Wolf stopped uploading completely, that the viewers disappear or they go somewhere else? Okay, say that one more time, please, because I had a dumb ass, don't know. If Sniper Wolf stopped uploading completely, do you think the viewers from here would uh, disappear or go somewhere else? They would go, They would split up um, on YouTube. Some of it would go uh, in, into the void, but if you need to realize something, that's very, very harsh as a reality. When you're on the internet, nobody cares about you. Z. Ro, nobody has loyalty. They're only loyal to the content uh, quality that you put out, and you are 100% um, mm -hmm. replaceable, and you will be replaced. The views that you stop uploading will go to other videos entirely, or will go to other things, and don't even start, don't, don't make the argument of it. Well, we go to the TikTok with eight views that the guy had, and now he's gonna get nine next time. That argument is fucking stupid. But I yes. agree, but they would go in other places. They would likely fill other communities who would do and react to different things as well. And that would be fine with me if they're transforming the content. If they're not, then I'm less fine with it, like I said. It's just a matter of how you're building your career. How do you know that? How do you know that? Yeah. How do I know what? You, you just said a statement, but like, how do you know that they would just go to a different community and start watching other content? You actually don't know that. How do I know that oh. they would continue to watch content YouTube they want to as opposed to... Mm -hmm. Most of it will spread out, maybe not to the TikTok that she was watching, but on the same platform, and, and it, it, it spreads out. Here's a good example. Look at Twitch's stats when I left Twitch and went to kick him. While, while, while I'm leaving, the stats are relatively the same. Relatively. Because one I think, I, I, real quick, I think that it's going to depend on the type of streamer and yeah. the type of community they have. So, like for, not, like, for my content, if I was wiped off the face of the earth, if I had to guess, I'd say probably, like, 50 to 40% of my fans would go and watch other stuff. I think a lot of them would just stop watching content. Um, but if you were watching somebody, let's say you were part of, like, OTK, maybe, like, yeah. like S-Fan, let's say S-Fan gets wiped off because he's, he does collapse with so many other people, maybe, like, 80% to 90% of his audience would go to other OTK members, right? I think it depends on the type of stream you're watching, the type of community they have, and how bought in you are to their content. But I, I don't think it's zero sum where when you destroy a streamer, all 100% of the audience disperses to other content. I think some of it will be lost. I think viewer hours will go down overall and some people just stop engaging with content. I you, think. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people just watch one creator regularly and then like yes. watch anything else at all. Like the video. So uh, didn't you make a point about how you're almost interchangeable with so many other people, X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm 100% I'm very much replaceable, yeah. Yeah, so I, I believe the, the majority of the viewers then would definitely disperse to other creators. I don't see why we wouldn't assume that's true. Wait, the, the majority, yeah, we'll watch something else. Uh, in terms of in Disney, people are maybe may, may older. Maybe they only tune into YouTube as the, as their radio, right? They're, they're, they're like radio enjoyers, right? And watch this as a radio. And, and they don't really care about radio itself, but they care because Disney's on it, right? And they'll watch that. And I think as, as, you're, as, you're, growing, as you're growing up and as you get older, right? And the percentage of people that are going to watch other stuff will diminish um, greatly. Um, yeah, by by uh, multitude of, I would assume, I, th I think it's a good assumption to make. I don't think it's okay. a bad assumption. Um, yeah. So the industry, as I understand it then, will be the ones with the highest momentum will be able to get away with the best of taking other people's content and not transforming yeah, well, it yeah, to benefit. Yeah, 100%. Yep, yeah, absolutely. That's, that is precisely where my issue is. I think they should transform oh, well, it. Well, oh, okay, well, I, I don't care. <laughs> no, 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 well, I, no, I, no, I, no I actually just wait, wait. don't care. You don't have to care. I, that's totally fine. But do you agree that uh, you've you've created non-transformative reactions? One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're we've agreed. 
Wait, what? Okay. How's so you surrendered then? So that's my moral issue. You don't agree with me because we have different morals. That's totally fine. Oh, okay. That, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you'll never. I think as as the future goes forward, you're gonna you're gonna have that more and more, right? But overall, you're gonna get higher value well, so, entirely. There's gonna be more ways to enjoy something than just one. So overall, it's like we're getting new new sets of cars. We're getting more cycles now. We're getting hoverboards, right? As you're trying mm -hmm. to say, well, 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 well. Um, I really want people. I really want them to only enjoy the Corolla. They cannot enjoy anything about that. It has to be the Corolla, right? It just has to be, has to be, right? And I think that argument is diminutive in progression yeah. for um for products. Yeah. Um, I don't see any technological updates that are gonna happen within my lifetime that will make me think that stealing content is fine, like not transforming it. Wait, wait. Wh why is the fact that he is replaceable not make it transformative? I don't understand the leap from that. So uh, no, all the leap I was making from him saying he's transformative is that viewers would move to other places with the same sort of vibes or community. Oh, look like smart. But, but what does that change? The way that I, I've been right, and I've been. I mean, look smart. I, I'm smart, and there was an argument. Sir. I'm rolling this fucker. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, you guys can hear that? Yeah, yeah. What, why? Oh shit! I have pushed the mute, but it didn't work yet. <laughs> okay, uh, Abba, why, what are you why saying? Is fact, why is the fact that he's replaceable? Okay. Mm -hmm the fact that it's transformative what does that matter that's not got anything to do with my transformative argument i'm talking about where the audiences go if he says he's replaceable i believe the audiences will move to other places destiny's correct in that a lot of people who view him passionately are like there's no other destiny online same for a lot of creators if lemino stop making videos it's not like all of lemino's videos move to the next lemino there isn't no there is no lex next fucking hell there is no next that, lemino that that is correct, and then then things that are gonna have a second life, uh, life and people want to watch other stuff, and sometimes in more in similarity to the most content, and I think that's that's okay. I don't really yeah, so that. Th that's what that was all establishing that. So I figured that was an older argument. The new one is just about whether or not they transform. XUZ doesn't mind if he is transforming it or not. I do. That's the difference. No, I mean I, I care to some degree, and, if, and a lot of times if they don't like, I'm, I'm not just for it. I'll take the video down literally. Oh my okay. god, I can't believe this. By, by by trying to defend Sniper, I'm defending XQC at the same time, but I, I still, I don't care whether XQC says it's transformative or not. The fact is that anytime he watches anything on his stream, his community, his live stream chat, whether he talks or not, it doesn't even fucking matter. His little reactions of his face make it transformative, and I don't know yeah. how you can prove to True, you know what? You know what? Wait, 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 true i no, no, tripled no. down on that no no you already left the boat bro you can't get back on okay, uh, okay, hold on, wait, hold on. so transformative means something when we say transformative we're talking about that four-factor test for fair use that the united states has as part of their copyright i write law right that's what transformative means now yeah. transformative and something is so different that people will watch it for a particular reason those are technically two different things how right? do you establish that how do you establish that how well, do you establish that you would establish it by looking at the four-factor test for fair use. That's how you determine if something is transformative. In the not, if, not if they don't okay, agree with that four-factor test. But, but, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 wait, wait, hold on. I'm just saying you got to be clear mm -hmm. with your terms. When we talk about fair use or we talk about transformative, what we're really using are legal definitions there. If you want to use like a casual definition, well, I would say don't because you're using the same word as the legal one, which makes it really confusing. I, I, I don't think people care the legality. I, agree. Of I understand, I understand, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. So we're, we're using transformative. We're trying to say, as you say, that like the work itself is changing to a degree that has value. I no, think sure. I, I, yeah, I understand, I understand, I understand. But right. I'm just saying that you're using the same word. It would be like saying that okay. like, Yesterday, John did something illegal, and you're like, "What did he do? He lied to me." It's like, "Well, he didn't do it." Okay, but it's illegal. It's wrong. He did something illegal. This, it's not illegal, right? So I'm just saying, if you're going to use the legal term of transformative, it's really confusing if we're using that in a casual way. But something that I said a few days ago is correct. What you guys are saying now is that for most people, you you guys are actually close. But there's even one step further. They actually don't even care about XQC's reactions. A lot of the quote unquote, I'm using this in the casual, non-legal sense, like you guys are using transformative part really just comes from watching something with a community. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, the chat, which that. is which is additive, and the chat stuff is transformative enough. The fact that there's a Discord that people can talk about, these are additive things that you don't really compute and it's very hard to quantify, but are very much relevant to the final full-fledged product, which is a massive part of everything. And you know what, sometimes I'm gonna fucking say it, my chair is more entertaining than some of their fucking content. Dead ass. The fact that the chat is watching, they're saying it. It's just saying, yo, dude, Mr. Chair is watching the video. That has value to people. That's funny. I don't give a fuck. And sure. them and saying, well, there's true, no value. But that, doesn't, but that doesn't pass the transformative test, right? Does it not, though? Not, not, not the legal. Not the legal. Not the part. legal kind, yes. Yeah, yeah, most yeah, likely. I think, I think most X likely when he started, he said he didn't care about the legal portion. And we're really just talking about the morality. I, mean, I could be wrong. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah not, but okay, it, so it, would like saying, it would be like saying so something that some apartment complexes used to do is sometimes people would take a projector or, or actually we can do this. Um, sometimes bars will show sports games, right? And there's a transformative aspect to going to a bar and watching a sports game with a whole bunch of other people. That's like a re- that's more transformative probably than being in a stream chat, right? Because you've, you've got a bunch of people around you, you're all screaming, you're having fun or whatever. However, my understanding is that those establishments still legally need to purchase a special license to show those things. You can't just buy one HBO ticket to a fight and then show that in a bar. You've got to buy a special license for that because you're showing it to a wide variety of people as part of an establishment, right? That's, I'm just, I'm not disagreeing with what you guys are saying. I'm just saying that's like the legal part is a little, there's a distinction between the oh, legal yeah. part of just transformative here versus just like why somebody would watch something. Yeah. I think and, we all and, agree. I'll, I think we all agree. Like even you, you're saying yeah, yeah. if you were taken to court, you would probably lose. You agree? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But, okay. uh, so I think we true, all agree on the, uh, on the but legal the, which yeah. so really sucks because these laws are old as fuck and they are defunct and stupid. Um, and it should be that way. Well, so I that's, think, I think. that's probably what Ethan's going to try to go for you for at first is how wrong you are on the law. And then you'll move to morals and you'll probably have a better standing, well, uh, but you'll still. Yeah, I mean, he'll get mauled away because he lost his entire career or his entire fucking future in terms of money to it, right? To that very issue. And he's mauled that, like, I'm going around the pot making fun of it when he lost a lot for it, you know, right? Yeah, but, but but the thing is with e- Ethan, I don't think – obviously the legal aspect mattered in terms of how the news story unfolded. But I think people were on his side because they really felt like what he was doing was transformative and that it changed it. They didn't care about the legal aspect of it when they were thinking about that. They said, no, what you did really changed the work in the way that I view it. Yeah, no, so it's I, not right. It's right, not fair. right for you to be punished. And so I think what I'm – well, I guess what I'm getting at is that when I'm looking at XQC or even Sniper SS Wolf, I feel like both of them – do enough where for the audience, the experience wouldn't be okay, the same. Okay, so I have a question. If I uploaded all of your videos and my community reacted to it and I wasn't there, would you be okay with that? Shit, I would. Oh, man. Okay, Abba? hold on. Abba has to say no, he would he, not. He does have to say no. I know him a little bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> so. well, no, hold on, because he literally on my stream like three days ago, DMC fucking just pearly things for yes. reacting to oh, oh, right I see we're doing it. It's a paid actor because paid has got to come in and lose an argument on, on my behalf, no, listen, even though I'm okay with it. And now it's, I have to cover for him. Hell, no, 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 X, 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 you're in the clear. No. X, you're in the clear for now. It's Abba no, that's going to have to no, suffer. No, I don't have to suffer anything. She capped about that. But anyways, all this to say, um, I would have an issue because of how I've always felt about it. Now, if you ask me if I feel as transformative three days ago, I probably would have said no, but I've honestly been a little bit fucking uh, changed my mind tonight by the conversation I've heard. I'm really shocked. I'm gonna, it's never happened, but X actually like changed my mind on this. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there you um, so- I, see, 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 I have a concept in, in my chat um, called Mr. Chair. If I'm gone and I watch a video and I, I leave, uh, Mr. Chair watches the video for me and chat fucking <laughs> loves Mr. Chair more than like, they like me. Chat hates me. They love Mr. Chair. Okay, and for them that has value, and I think that that is can be understated. All right. Um. So, uh, but just to clarify, you'd be okay with me doing it? Yeah. Oh yeah. To me, uh, to me too. Yeah. yeah. That's... I think I probably still feel some type of way on the inside, but I think if. But like, why? Uh, why? I've transformed some insecurities, it. Some 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 some. I think everybody has some insecurities. However, you're gonna project those. Is all up to you. But I think that people shouldn't give values and arguments because they come from insecurities well, that just... some of these guys made. Just to clarify, because like that scenario is kind of a step just further than what we were talking about when we first started next. You said you'd uh, offer to buy the channels out, right? If they did that. Oh, if they if they if they do what I do, but better, and they they get better on the algorithm, I will add them to to the ship. Okay. Right. I, I will redevise the workload, and we're gonna get a cl- a clip guy. Yeah, yeah. And now my editor is good enough that he does all of it. He, he actually he learned how to do the rat clip. The joint clip, the post clip, the fast clipping, he knows all the strats. But if he's if he gets bad enough at it and it's not good anymore and we get we get rolled, I'll hire the next guy that does, that does better. <laughs> no, yeah, fair enough. But um, obviously, uh, what I was bringing up is uh, Abba, I was expecting to leave me alone, not try to buy me out, let me make my money. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was not going to buy you out. I was going to leave it alone. But leave it I alone, was, no. I, I would say this. I think that most people, when we're talking about the morality of the issue, their idea of what is transformative is going to be fairly subjective. But for the audiences watching the content, they would feel like it's extremely transformative for them. And so I would ask you, how do you make the moral argument where you can feel like this is something that should be a little bit more expanded, like more people should follow it? I'm curious, like, how do you even define that line, really, on a moral basis? Uh, You're asking me, like, how I would consider, where's the line for non-transformative to transformative? Yes. Well, what is the line? 
so I wouldn't. Ask, I'd probably model it after the the full point thing, but like one of those I think includes like the amount of time, which I'm not in favor of. So for example, if it said like you need to have a maximum of ten percent of the original content in yours, I'd be like, no, I don't. I don't think that should necessarily be true. If you respond fully to one hundred percent of it in detail. It shouldn't be that like well now they they own it because you've done that. Obviously, uh, I'm personally invested in that since I do like full breakdowns of every scene in a movie sort of thing. Um, the main thing I think is to change like the full experience of watching the original. Like what's you can't if I was to review a movie that you can't watch my video and have the experience of watching the movie. Like it's a completely different thing and it's on different markets for different uh, purposes. That's like one of the primary issues. Too much of my work is in there. For it to be considered not my work is kind you know, of what I would say. You know, you know, it's crazy. You said that the future in your lifetime wouldn't change as much as you think it would. Whatever the fuck would make you made that argument. Actually, it's crazy that corporate are the most scared about this, and they really don't want that. Uh, uh, all that bullshit, right? Yet they're exploring watch party options, which is massively in my in my argument. People watching movies together as like watch parties. That's a, that is a massive advancement that even corporates see value in it. So whatever you see value in it, I mean, you are wrong on all points, like all of them. So um, even corporate greed I, is on my side. I, I agree with you that there are avenues in which this is going to develop, but they'll all be licensed. Oh, okay, so then we're back into the legal lingo of bullshit, gotcha. Well, you'd be clear morally if you had licenses for all of these things, I wouldn't mind. The whole okay. point of the I, license, I thought it was the about point, the whole point of the license is just to ensure that the original copyright holders are respected. That's the whole point of a license. A license a license accomplishes two things. One, when you create something, the, what copyright means is that you have the exclusive right to create copies of that electronic work or not electronic, but that intellectual property, right? That's what copyright means. You're the sole person that can create copies of it. A license allows other people to create copies based on an agreement between the rights holder and whoever is selling the license. So that's one thing. The second part is a license allows the people who own the copyright and then license to other people to make money off of it. Those are the two things that a license helps with. So when you talk about watch parties, the original rights holder exclusive right is respected because he's licensed the content to somebody else and oftentimes there's a form of compensation for it. That's what that's why licensing is different than just straight watching content. Well, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, 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 there are times where I want to be a, become a lawyer. Well, that, I, I, I'm very interested in this. And recent times, you know what? I think law can suck my dick. I, uh, law is complete garbage. It's a, it's a money sink. It's a, it's, a, it's a loophole of a human waste. It's trash. What an absolute sink of humanity. That's my thought. I know that it seems that way, but if you ever it's feel that way, if you, it. it's not, no, no, it's not that it's just needed. It's that generally when you dig into almost every single law, usually they exist for really good reasons. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that 100%. It's just okay. their application and the way that, that the systems work uh, in practice is pretty shit. I mean, we could agree with that. Well, what's shit? Uh, what do you mean? What's shit about this particular thing? Oh, no, not the particular thing. I'm just thinking, like, just overall, yeah, I mean, even with that, like, if you think about, like, the whole H3H3, H3, how much it, it, I think was expensive or whatever, and what the, the actual human losses in that, um, it's really, it's really sad. Or even the fact, uh, even in the, two good examples. Here, uh, Ed Sharan was, like, locked into some bullshit fucking corkets forever, and he won. It was a waste of human creativity and human life. Actual, like, a waste of human value. And that's... That's kind of sad if you think about it. I don't agree. Really, or Anthony Fantano being like, well, um, I'm going to win the court case down the line, so pay me money. Ah, come on, man. Nobody wants that shit. Sure. The financial aspect of our legal system in the United States right now is probably really bad. I think most people would agree with that. But that's not, I don't know if you would say like law sucks. You would just say that the financial aspect tied to the law is really in bad. In practice, in, in, in practice, the, 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 the money part of it is bad. Yes, yes, I agree. I, I, I have a question. So I've been listening to the conversation. And I feel that um, the, conver the, the idea that there haven't been enough evidence to suggest damages seems a little odd if we acknowledge that there's a finite amount of viewers who can only create a finite amount of watch time to be distributed across all the different content platforms. So we, if we agree that non-transformative content Counts wait, wait, wait. Before we get to the rest of that, I think that was a thing that we were fighting earlier. I don't know if that's true. Well, well, that's what I was going to say is impressions. Okay, so not even just that, like, oh, the viewers are going to go to other channels, but it's about delivering different impressions. So, for example, if someone thinks that Sniper Wolf's 
non-transformative like, content registers as theft, then we can say that since she has such a giant platform, it's the equivalent to having a town and there's a shop where goods are sold and then basically goods are stolen from a smaller shop and then put on big shelves. It's like shelf space. So impressions are limited and they're finite. And even if someone's not going to a different like content creator or going to watch the other person's content, that still frees up shelf space inside the algorithm. Wrong. To promote actually, actually well, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I... It is not even close. The analytics are loose saying it. You are absolutely wrong. I, here's the, here's the, okay, okay. I will say one word. One word breaks all your arguments. TikTok. Okay. TikTok literally just shits on all of our faces on, on that very point. And it makes you wrong on all points. Why? The analytics of YouTube and watch time and everything has stayed remainly the same or better overall. And no, TikTok, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's on per, it's per oh. platform. I'm saying so, so it would be oh. on TikTok non-transformative. It would be on Twitch no. being non-transformative because for example, as a, as a Twitch streamer, you know, or a streamer in general, it seems like streamers want to say, oh, well, I've got to stream 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day, and I have to use the bathroom and I have to go cook food and stuff. Well, I mean, no one's forcing you to stream. You can shut your stream off and then that frees up impressions in the algorithm. So that makes it's sense. like and this you, idea, you, yeah, this idea that you have to be there 10 hours a day, like that's kind of bullshit, right? Because if there's somebody like Hassan or whatever who goes off for an hour and then comes back and he's playing other people's whoa, content, he could just whoa. turn the stream off. Here's he could just turn the stream off, you know? Wait, 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 hold on. Let me, wait, let me, no, okay, chill, okay. So. Here is why I don't think that's true. There's a lot mm -hmm. of conventional wisdom that says it's true, but here's why I don't think that happens. So this is the one sure. big example that I can think of, okay? Um, back in the day on Twitch, there was this erroneous idea that when new games released, you wanted to get into those categories because the idea was if a new game releases and XQC is playing it with 50,000 viewers, when he shuts his stream off, like 30,000 yep. viewers are going to roll over to the next stream. <laughs> That's right. And mm -hmm. A lot of people had these ideas for a long time. The reality is, is that basically doesn't happen at all. It would seem more like the top streamer, Soda or X or Asmongold would play a game. Top streamer will have 50,000 views. The next guy will have 2,000. Maybe the top streamer stops playing. If he doesn't host the next guy, maybe a thousand viewers gone. roll over. Maybe I, a thousand, listen, yeah. Listen, and listen. So it, what, 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 hold on real quick. What I'm trying yeah, to say yeah. is that like, viewers for stream are seen as like a zero sum game, but I truly do believe that there are some streamers that when they go offline, people just scatter to the wind and they find other things to do. They're not directly substituting another streamer for their content. Yeah, yep. I think you're I think you're confusing. I'm not saying that they're going to go and watch other content creators. I'm saying that even if 10 to 20 to 30% of the audience stays on the platform, it frees up shelf space for the algorithm to push other streamers in the place where they would have pushed the bigger streamer. So it's just a, it's simply a shelf space argument. There's a limited amount of impressions that can be served on each platform, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Twitch, whether it's YouTube, there's a limited amount of impressions that can be served. And so yes. if there's people who are taking non-transformative content, i.e. theft if we agree it if we just agree to whatever that is, wherever the lines are drawn, then basically someone is taking that content and stealing it and then putting it up and using shelf space, which is finite and limited. Last thing I'm going to say before uh, I hop out, because I won't, I don't want to take up too much time, but no, you're the other fine. Thing, I don't, I don't like it yeah, I think so, you're fine okay. arguments. Okay, great. So XQC, the other thing that you were saying, which got me thinking a lot was that like chat is a transformative element on its own. And I kind yes. of agree with that where it's like, you know, you consume the content and it's like its own thing. However, if we look at like actual um, fair use law, for example, in uh, 2002, there was an amateur photographer, a retired Marine, John all basically, um, they, they bought some stamp thing or whatever. And it was originally uh, it was of a sculpture made by someone um, named like Gaylord or whatever. It's his last name. Quite unfortunate. But anyways, basically they took a picture of this sculpture and then they put that sculpture on a stamp that was 37 cents. And then the um, post, off, post service made 17 million, right? And so he sued them for fair use. And the reason why I bring this up is because like transformative in chat, right? So... It's totally, I would say that this is even more of a difference than watching the content by yourself versus watching it with chat because it's like, well, I would never go and see that sculpture in person. I would never be at this like Korean war veterans memorial, right? But I might buy the stamp. So it's a completely different context and a completely different audience altogether, a different distribution model. Yet that still didn't count as fair use in court. In fact, it originally counted as fair use and then it was appealed and then it got overturned. Well, yeah, so but that, like, that, that, that would be the extent of that, that that would be an extension of the product as merchandising, mm -hmm. which is a complete different ball game. That's not mm -hmm. even close in, in, in when you talk about impressions or watch time or whatever any of the dynamics. That's like actual merchandising that they, is an extension of the product. Wait, 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 wait. Why wouldn't that be similar though? If we say that somebody can create merchandise mm -hmm. off of a thing and it's not taking away from the original and it's clearly not. If somebody buys XQC merchandise, it's not like it's hurting your stream. And it's just the people that buy the merch are happy, the people that sell the merch make money. Why wouldn't this be like the exact same type of thing? 
Wait, that you spoke so you spoke pretty fast, like I do. Except I if actually I, didn't understand. If it. I make, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if I make merch off your stream, it doesn't hurt you at all. I benefit, and my customers benefit. So right. Isn't that kind of a similar argument that we're using for React content? If I steal your IP, my yep. audience benefits and I benefit. It doesn't hurt you, so it if, should be okay. If I cannot produce that exact copy of thing, which is, which is pretty much impossible, um, then I don't. Then I, then I don't really give a fuck. Like if. If I'm not currently doing that, or I can't do it, I, I, I mean, I, I usually let, let them get away with it. What if you're both doing it? What if it's the exact, 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 exact same thing? There's no, there's no more of it. Then the argument applies to them, then fuck them. Yeah, because obviously, like, you're selling your t-shirts and stuff, but then you get 50% of total worldwide sales, they're getting the other 50 just as a provider or a, a, an outlet. Would you try and stop them? Wait, I will stop them 100%. Mm hmm But why? Well, Wait, well, you would have somebody trying to make... T-shirts of your shit? Wait, a hundred percent. Wait, why? Wait, uh, if if I'm making the exact same thing and it and then it, it's confusing, it's splitting oh, people like up. If you're the, making the, shirts, okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, okay. the, the, there's there's so many components that the merchant the merchant thing is a, is a, I, I really hate real life examples like stamps, beer mugs, dildos. When we're talking about fucking react content the the lengths people go to to get our arguments across is fucking ridiculous man i have to be honest it's disingenuous by nature well i it's, it's, I, I literally we're literally just trying to like figure out points uh what's back in it so you said like one of the Dance. big problems would be confusion right with, with merchandising yes confusion yeah, yeah. is very bad that, that that's it's yeah, why, that's it's why you, so... you don't want like a like 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 a jordan's that says like like a jarda like it's so, like okay like what the fuck like there's there's the market confusion there um, if out of curiosity, we could engage a hypothetical and just say there was no confusion. The only reason that they're uh, buying from both is just that your warehouses like can only supply so much, and so that there's a bleed over of customers, and they end up going to no, this second not, supplier. Not, not, not a good argument. Not a good argument. No, I just want to know what you would say in that scenario. Oh, I say fuck them. They're right. They're, they're wrong regardless. I think, I think the argument of finite impressions is ridiculous as well. Okay, so like you say they're wrong regardless. So it's not just about confusion. It's about something more. Oh, like I said, it, it's a multi-component. You feel like you can break it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and but, but I, I think that the reason why they want to do that initially is that none of these even on that list apply to live streaming, um, and uh, React content. If it, maybe I mean, one applies at one percent, now you now you're at like point one percent overlap, and you're just making an argument in bad faith. It's just like a waste of time. I I'm not, I haven't argued anything yet. I'm just trying to ask what issue you take with it beyond confusion. You said confusion was one thing, it would confuse the markets. Okay, fair. What are, is there any other uh, reasons? Um, um, quality control. It's not my vision, it's not my product. A lot of, a lot of things yeah. that, that when I make a product, it has a multiple components that a lot of copycats will not understand. And it's important for me that that, that continuity goes, goes across. It, it, for me, it's important, right? But it does, the, the, if for, uh, on that point, but if it's not, that's fine. I'm, I'll, I'll just tell them, like, yo, don't do that. But there are times where, like, I, I let them get away with it. Yeah, no, sure. Okay, so um, then the scenario would just change to there's no market confusion and they, they copy your system completely. The quality is, like, top-notch. It's a misunderstanding of the vision. I'm sorry? Misunderstanding of vision. Mis they, no, they misunderstand the vision of the product entirely. They don't understand it, so they're kind of, like, damaging it. Um, okay, uh, what, what would be, like... Uh, I'm trying to think of what you mean by that. So, like, if they did understand the vision, would it then be okay? Um, yeah, but it, they would never get it. Like, a lot of things are... I think some of these things are pretty complicated, so it's, I don't know. Well, I, excuse me, you said that if you stopped streaming or you dropped off, you said that you'd be easily replaceable by everyone. They're just going to fuck off and find someone else. Yes. Instantly. Okay, so that, that kind of proves my point, because if you're so instantly no, replaceable, my question is, how do they find who replaces you? Well, they go around. They, they, they watch, well, but where? What do they go? Who, how do they get served? What they're going around? That's the impressions, right? It's not like they just manually go and search for people. It, they can through the thing, but it's still based on how the algorithms serve the content and organize the content on the platform for people to select. Yeah, I, so, I think. I think your argument. Your arguments are mostly against top heavy. And capitalistic, uh, uh, like I don't agree systems. with that. I think I think you should be able to grind and make your make your bag and fucking make your content. That's not what I'm against. I'm just saying if we agree that non-transformative content is a form of theft, let's say, and then we agree that also there's a finite amount of impressions that go around, which is ultimately how content gets served. Then naturally, you're if if someone's non-transforming content, they're just basically stealing shelf space from people. 
and you said it yourself, the moment you'd stop, you get instantly replaced. How do people find you're right, you're who right, replaces you're, you is they get right. served through the algorithm. Yes, yes, yes. The, 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 shelf, the shelf has, has 100,000 slots for products, right? I'm sorry for selling really good milk on 999 of those slots because the one guy had the spoiled milk. Sorry about that. It's really bad and I'm I'm killing the market entirely. Let's lose no, out not, on 900 bottles for the one spoiled milk one. Uh, it's, that's it's, that's it's, not it's, what I'm saying at all. I'm, I think you make great content. I'm saying that if we agree that non-transformative content is a form of theft, which I don't know if you agree with that, but if no. we agree that is the case, okay, so you don't agree with that. So no. yeah, then, then it's kind of moot anyways. Um, yeah, I'm saying that the shelf life uh, uh, argument doesn't apply and has never been proven, in my opinion, uh, or, or, or from my understanding. But you uh, just said that the moment you stop streaming, you're going to get instantly replaced or someone stops, they're going to get replaced. It's not like the users like have to like manually type in to find people they want to watch. They wait, get real served quick, the shop, by just, the wait, Real quick, real quick. What she's talking about, excuse me, like if I go to Twitch.tv um, and I look on the front, Let's say that of these like 10 streams here, let's say like four of these streams are React streams. She's saying that like, if we're saying that stealing content is bad, if we get rid of those four streams, wouldn't four other streams be on this front page we'd be able to click on instead of the React streams? That's what she's saying. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I think overall, yeah, and, it, I, yeah, I don't and, even value that as an as a, as a argument worth um, wor well, it's not even a worthwhile argument because at that point, it's like, well, we should done, we should shut down the casinos because people are going to the casinos and they should be going to the library instead. Oh my God. I think that's really stupid. You said it yourself, though. People find like Sniper Wolf on the front page on their YouTube, right? It's not like like that's people. That's not what I said. That is not what I said at you, all. You said that was that was <gasps> one of the points that you made. There were like four <laughs> points that you made about Sniper Wolf, and one of them was that they show up on the front page of people's YouTube. I, I said one of them. I said the main reason that they were not on right, the front page. But I'm just but I'm just saying that shows up for hundreds of millions of people and hundreds of millions of impressions. So if she couldn't just take content like that or make that so easy then that spot will be freed up. Those 100 million impressions will be freed up for someone else who's making I, content that I is ask, transformative. I ask, oh. yeah, let me ask you a question. If, if all of these creators, you guys are just accepting him, even though he might be wrong about how he feels about himself. But if all these streamers are so easily replaceable, why are they offering such high contracts to keep the exclusive rights? Or if they're so replaceable, why aren't they just ushering the new wave and then just they have the momentum? I don't think I when XQC says that he's just wrong. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, that's that. what I'm saying. Streamers, like, are, not, yeah, that, streamers like, are not well, easily well, replaceable. You guys are using his argument against him, which is fair because he's wrong about. Oh my him. god! I, I think he's wrong. He's not <laughs> replaceable like he thinks. And I feel so weird because I feel like this is simply like I'm. No, you have value, but like you should recognize that if you're so easily replaceable, why don't they just replace you? Why are they paying you hundreds Because I'm the fucking dollars? GOAT! That's why! What the fuck? So you're I mean, not replaceable, yeah, you fucking- not, Oh my god. Yeah, GOAT means not replaceable, right? <laughs> yeah, but did you Somebody break down, down the GOAT? Team. You broke down the GOAT in the small pieces and other people will pick up and you, you, you're you're repurposing it. A 100%. You, you think that these people are like, that when I go offline and I stop, everybody just fucking dies? No, I think a lot they, of them they, they stop don't. watching, a lot of them, yes, stop watching yes. content, yeah. Yeah, but a lot. Probably, I'm actually with. Got, I'm with X on got, this wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, <laughs> XQC. You've got audiences that literally build their days around like whether you're live or not. Like my bet is that if you go into your stream chat on Twitch, I'm assuming that one is active when you're offline. There's probably a ton of people that are literally spamming. Is X going live? Is he live? Where's he at? Is he going live today? What did he tweet? Like what's going on? Right? Those guys aren't watching other streams. They're literally sitting in your chat waiting for you to go live. Like, okay, okay. I think that that's 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 a big portion. I think ultimately, people find stuff to watch. I, I generally believe that. I'm dead. Mm. He's um. Uh, they'd be paying for the fact that he's like a beacon right now. You can't you can't yeah, replace yeah, XQC. Stone, you can't just have someone go. I'm the new XQC. It doesn't work no, that way. You're wrong. You're wrong. Because if he's so easily replaceable, they control who. Gets he's not easily replaceable no, until he's dead. Okay, so if he's not replaceable, all this talk about impressions is irrelevant. You guys are saying if he's not here, the impressions will go to someone else. That's just not true. But that's because factored in was, with the transformative oh, argument. If that's it what... was, if it was, there's zero companies who would be offering this guy big contracts to keep him on their platforms because they can just funnel those impressions anywhere they want. They control the algorithm. You guys, the, the way the system works, what you're saying does not make any sense. True. Bro, bro, because, because I, I still operate. I still go live. I still do my thing. If I disappeared entirely... Yes, yes, like I said, it, it would spread out. It would it would it, it would boom. But that 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 takes a little bit of time. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it wouldn't. I, I I feel like I'm arguing against you for you, which is retarded, okay? But it wouldn't because if it would, they have no reason. Didn't you just get a fucking contract from Kick? If they could just replace your impressions with somebody else, it would change everything. Same thing for Twitch. There's no reason for them to pay you all this money if they can just funnel your impressions to some random person and all the things they're gonna work. It doesn't make sense. You you are correct, but I'm I know just saying, 
the trickle down happens if I were to stop entirely and disappear. That's true. I don't the, think that's true. It's totally I true. You already admitted it was true. You just said it wasn't everyone, which is true. Uh, no, no, I, I think that if you were to go on Twitch, if you were to take the top 10 streamers and ban those 10 streamers and they didn't stream anywhere else, if those top 10 streamers represented a concurrent viewership across Twitch of 300,000 concurrent viewers, I think of those 300,000 concurrent viewers, I think maybe 20 or 30,000 would stick around. That That I'm, is I'm pretty more so crazy. Basing, I'm more so basing bonkers. my argument off YouTube because I feel like YouTube is like 10 times bigger than the live streaming ecosystem as a whole. So when I'm talking about the impression serving, I'm talking about specifically YouTube. So uploading non-transformative content to YouTube. And I don't think that, you know, it's like the idea of like, oh, just DMCA it. I mean, that just like in the argument where you were making with like property rights destiny, you don't like, ex you, you want that property right to be enforced without you having to manually enforce it. Oh. Well, sure. That's a fundamental. Now we're talking legal arguments, but that is true. If we think that these are property rights that are, uh, that that exist, right? Obviously with intellectual property and with exclusive right to copy, it's a little bit more intangible or less tangible than physical property. But yeah, you would say, you would assert automatically that those rights are automatically defended. The onus would be on the um, content violator to make an argument why they need to do it rather than saying that the uh, person who's being violated needs to actively defend it, right? Yeah, and I think that YouTube, no one really leaves it. It's a huge platform, and there are people who subscribe to multiple channels, and they just go and they click on whatever looks interesting on the front page. So if someone can upload content that is non-transformative, i.e. theft, if we agree to that definition, then they're basically just taking impression space. That okay, madam, madam, ma madam, I, I, I assure you that I had an extensive look across multiple, and other people have done, on multiple fresh accounts, people that don't watch react content very very rarely get served react content if the overlap is nearly zero in that regard okay i'm willing to have my i mean i don't really have a strong position on this i just wanted to bring this argument up because i haven't heard anyone mention impressions which are finite and they are based on a finite viewer base which that can fluctuate up and down depending on what's going on and then the total watch time that that viewer base is giving can fluctuate but there still is a finite amount of those impressions being served which is ultimately where people find and get delivered content through the algorithm yeah yeah i, I get I, I i get it um i i do feel like the space is so wide right that whenever you're widening content you're you're like widening um how many people will will, will watch kind of overall i feel like you the bed these boundaries are n still to this day like infinite almost like it, it, you're always pushing and pushing and more people more, more people have access to it more people want it and one of the reasons for that and i'm saying that tiktok tiktok has made people watch more shit online overall across the board and the numbers are ridiculous you i don't think I, I, to make it, the arguments you're making i i wish that you seen the actual math behind it the tiktok raw numbers it's it's alien that shit is ridiculous what? It's crazy. <laughs> it's like crazy. It's like it's, it's like it's like algorithm from uh, from hell, man. Numbers on TikTok are crazy. You smell? I I don't know what that was arguing. Like the for. analytics are crazy. They're like insane. Like how many people watch videos or like oh, do this on TikTok? Like <laughs> when you look at the raw numbers, they've eclipsed everything we've known before, and it hasn't really taken anything from, from anybody, right? It just kind of so that so they're having a shelf life. Okay, I just or, or, I just. Or, I just looked it up. TikTok generates, this might be about six months old or so. TikTok generates about 318 million impressions per day. YouTube generates 626 billion organic impressions a day. It's, it's like... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So TikTok only has 300 million impressions per day? What? That's what it says. 318 million. That's There's what it says. no... Sh that's that, gotta be that like is two orders of magnitude. Captain this was posted on this was posted on June 6, 2023. I can post the link. I don't know if it's bad data or whatever, but I mean I'm just reading it here. TikTok generates about 318 million impressions per day. Paid advertisers can tap into about 643 or 6 whatever and then YouTube's integration with Google search gives creators uh 626 billion. Wait, wait, can you link with you? I'm just curious what you're Yeah, I'd be glad at. to. Sure. I could be misinterpreting it, but well, I mean even like, if it's here, like say, double say, inflated, that's in... still 10 times higher. Here, I'll post it to you. DMs. No, no, yeah, I said like an order of magnitude or two off. That just seems yeah. Even way, if it, way, even way if it's off, it's still that YouTube is so much bigger. So order of magnitude meaning like times ten. Like yeah, that exactly. seems like it's I'm times aware. ten yeah, or yeah. times one hundred like, off. That's like times yeah. a thousand at something. Yeah. So I sent you the link. You can check it out. 
but that's why that's why I'm basing my argument more so around YouTube. Not I don't know much about the live streaming space. You you're obviously all way more into that. So I'll take your word when it comes to the live streaming patterns. But when it comes to YouTube, it's a pretty clear pattern of action and how people engage with it. And it's not like people don't just go to YouTube. I mean, maybe they have their favorite person and channel they go to and stuff. But I mean, people just go there when they're bored and click on whatever shows up and looks interesting. I disagree. I, I disagree. I think there are, I think viewers are separated to different categories. There's some people who are going to waste their lives on YouTube. I think there's other people who go in for specific creators. Like for me, I have a couple people I like watching. And then if they're not on or they don't have not uploaded anything in a long time, I'm off. And there's a lot of people who operate that way. I think a lot of us are very online in these spaces. And so we think that everyone who consumes it consumes it the same way, but it's just not true for a lot of uh, users. If I had to real quick, if I had to guess, you know, based on this article that you showed, mm -hmm. my, or Zana, my guess would be that, um, when this says 318 million impressions per day, uh, one of my guesses is this is talking about advertising impressions. Oh, That'd be yeah. my guess. Because when yeah. this, because if I read what's well, coming no, it before, says, it doesn't says, it say specifically advertisers can tap into about 643,000 of those impressions per day. Per so day, it, yeah. it specifically mm -hmm. says which but like, ones let, are let's just like, If I scroll up, it says TikTok has more than a billion users. Do you think a platform with a That's billion crazy. users, and then if you scroll up before, it says TikTok users yeah, spend an average of 45.8 yeah. minutes per day on the platform. 45 minutes, that's got to be, what, a 1,000 TikToks? There's no way that a billion users sure, sure. whose average time is 45 minutes are generating only 318. Like, that number's got to be in the billions or tens of billions. It's, that's just my guess, but yeah. Yeah, that, that number definitely seems a little off, but that's just what I'm seeing here. So I'm um, welcome to more data. Okie dokie. Um, hey, Abba. It's on my fucking thing, man. I got ants oh. in this room, bro. Sorry about that. My bad. I, I, um, I, I was just going to ask, um, you seem, like you said you changed your mind on like the whole concept of transformative. Uh, what would you, like, if, if, you know, I said if I uploaded to my channel, my community reacted. What if my community didn't react and it was just the comment section? Would you count that as transformative enough? Uh, I think if I went to the furthest end of the uh, idea, I probably could what be. What the fuck? And, I, maybe I haven't thought about this through because I, I obviously my change of mind is just right now, so I, I don't want to die on this hill right now. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. But I would say I think that it's really blurred the line for me for what is considered transformative and it's not. I, and, I, and, and I think just listening to the fact that for... Because I know this. I remember talking to somebody who says they watch a lot of Twitch streamers, and for them, just eating their food and watching with someone else who's what, reacting to the content makes them excited to and they would never otherwise watch it so for me understanding that concept even if the other person wasn't talking maybe they just laughed a few times it made me realize that for them this content is completely different than what the original is but like, and, so, and so knowing that that that's that different for them i'm like how do i determine what is or isn't transformative when for the viewers who are watching it is completely changing the way they interact with the content yeah oh you know what here's a good example for that um you're putting the news in the morning, right? Which is, all this, all, this is all content, right? And the local news, right? The local news. And they give you a story about some fishermen who caught a fish. The most boring story of all fucking time. And you have it on TV. Instead of switching channels, you're, you're cooking in the morning. And you're watching it. And you know what? You, you, you leave it on. You don't, change, you don't change the fucking TV, right? You don't change the fucking thing. Right? And why, why are you doing that? One, it's local, it's relevant, and then and after, and after that, you might you might go to bingo tonight, and Theresa will say, did you see the fish he caught? And yeah, you did. And there's a lot of social aspects of it, and there are a lot of components that go into why you watched it, and how you're going to engage past it, right? When, if it was in another country, in another place, you wouldn't have watched it. The, the community aspect it plays a big role in it, right? So people want to talk about the people uh, that are in that, in, that, in that community, otherwise they wouldn't do it anyway, right? Did you agree with that? Um, I think there's loads of aspects that can benefit from it for sure. I, I wouldn't deny that. And it is, I even agree with that the chat aspect is something, but it feels like we've moved, um, especially because I'm more so curious about Abba's perspective right now. The the presence of any form of transformative nature is like a binary now. It becomes, it's either not or is. And as long as there's something there, then it is. Is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think for me, uh, the issue I have is I can't really tell where that line is because it seems like it changes very drastically even off minor changes. And so if I take that into consideration, I have to say like even the slightest bit of change uh, might be enough. No, uh, but come on. Yeah, because I was going to say like what, for me, I a movie with your family uh, uh, isn't transformative. Is that another <laughs> PvP -er that enters the arena, bro? How many, <laughs> bro, this is a fucking brawl in this bitch. What? If, um, because if you truly believed all of that, like, would would we be able to, like, you think ethically speaking, I should be able to do all kinds of uploading as long as 
Like, what if I took XQC's chat from a different video and put it onto a random upload of yours? I guess you wouldn't even know, right? Well, right. then I, I wouldn't know. And, and like I said, I'm not saying that what I'm saying doesn't get us in like a lot of a legal quagmire or even a moral one. Just a moral one, yeah. But, but, but it's it's unworkable, it, Abba. You can't have that. I mean, then what wouldn't be transformed under that view? I mean, I could go get a hot dog, and my view and experience would be different than without the hot dog. What yeah. wouldn't be transformative? But, but uh, listen, I think it's one of those things where if you were to sit me down and say this is not transformative, I could see how. But I think there's a lot of content that you guys would consider gotcha. transformative that a lot of people would look at and like I don't think it is. So I'm just saying the line isn't clear, and even though you guys may not see it, just the fact that XQC is on the screen for them is often enough. I, I yeah. can't or Mr. Chair. Oh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, for that matter, something. And also, I swear to God, I am not getting about this. Most of my chat, most of my chatters, which is they only chat here because they like chatting here, right? And if you wouldn't put a video right now, right in front of them, and they would have watched, and you would have swapped all the components, and you wouldn't, you don't even tell them, I'll blind it, and you would add or remove them one in chat, right? They would notice one hundred, and they would know something is up, one hundred percent, right? So the small intricacies of of us being the way we are right now, right, is noticeable one hundred percent, and that has value for them. So can you watch Oppenheimer with your chat there as a transformative piece of content? You would content? say yeah, surely. No. Why not? No, no, you can't, you can't, you can't. Why you can't. not? Why not? Well, because they don't want, they don't want, they don't want me to. Them. No, I know, but could you do it? And do you think that you should be allowed to? Um, well, see, the, the, um, whenever we approach these arguments, right, people always go to the movie as a, got him, dude, load the movie. In my opinion, I absolutely think I should be able to. 100%. Okay. Yeah, I think but, that's consistent. But, so there I is no have, copyright then at that point, right? There's no copyright. Yeah, but I would love to work with them into knowing when I could do it and, and, and for how long, on what dates. And I would love to work on campaigns because I would love to do that. And then I could, I could have an agenda of when we're doing certain reacts and my chat would fucking love that shit. They would love it. <laughs> yeah, they would love it for you for, to work with Christopher Nolan. But what if Nolan doesn't want to work with you? And what if he's like, no, well, I, I, I don't to catch want you up. Then the they'll be poor. <laughs> they will be broke ass bitches because they're <laughs> failing to understand a new opening in the market and they are failed visionaries. I'm the visionary of film. I'm the visionary. You are the visionary of fucking nothing. If you don't understand that there's value in what. If, you, they, they don't, if they don't uh, understand that there's value in watch parties, do you get it? Yeah. But no, there's value there, but there's also value in streaming the UFC on your, on your stream and hosting it there. Oh, I, 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 I would love that. I, would Honestly, love that. I have no problem with people streaming the UFC from a complete moral standpoint. But if you're talking about legal, the only reason people don't do it is because they feel like it's legally wrong. That's it. This is a cop out. When you guys are talking about the law and moral and dividing it this way, you guys think that there should be a moral right to some kind of property entitlement to your kind of creative content. You all do. And Pisco, Abba, honestly, say, XUC has already conceded like in the beginning, basically, that uh, what do you say, a maximum maybe a day a week? Like you want all of it to be free of that so we can all react to everything, right? Well, no, but I he's saying he, you shouldn't be able to label to like sell his shirts if he's making shirts. That's so he believes in some amount of creative. We kind of touched on that. Uh, right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, that's, so uh, there's something. That's a little touchier. That, that, that's a little bit touchier. Like, <laughs> no, why? I, well, because I, 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 at one point, I don't want to sell a t-shirt, right? And it has poison in it. And somebody, and, and, and it's like, oh, well, I was just trying to buy XT merch. And I, I, somebody's getting hurt by it. Like, that, that, there's a lot of ways that they could be dangerous. That could be true of anything that's being hosted there. Maybe you could say that the platform that's hosting it is dangerous. It's leading people. Or actually, let me give a real life example. This has probably happened to you, X. There are some people that I wish would have never watched any of my content because they've poisoned the well so hard against me to other audiences because they've shown selectively like one or two clips of mine, right? Real? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or uh, erroneously editing it to make you look worse than you actually are sort of thing. You True. all yeah, think yeah. that there should be some rights to creative expression and that there should be some exclusive rights. And maybe that right is so thin that just watching a film with my family is transformative. But but if that's true, then the copyright means nothing at that point. If, if it's just yep. having a chat, then that means that yes, yes, Steven sir. can play any music he wants at all times throughout the day because yes. his chat will do funny memes and Pepe's. Yeah but, yeah, but why do you think Amazon sees value in watch parties enough that they have a big catalog that opens up with people that with, uh, with Prime can do watch parties on Twitch? It's a yeah. massive advancement for that's life a perfect space. example. Yeah, and, I think and, that's a great I, and, example. And I think we're, we're going in these directions in a very quick fashion. And it's the possibilities are endless. Endless possibilities. And any arguments for against Amazon, it? For Amazon. For Amazon. It's an endless possibility for Amazon. And so, the fact that you incorrect. say that they see value is, that, is acknowledging that they're going to monetize it. And they're going to make money. And they're going to make their bag. And they don't yeah, want yeah, you to yeah, make yeah. their back. Whether yeah. their, their intentions are pure or not, the value for the consumer is there regardless. And if other people follow in their steps and do that with other, other, other pieces of content, other people see value and will find other ways to make money. And it'll, it'll develop as a, as, a, as, a, as a sphere, like as a, 
But who as has a, a right to cool. exploit that value? Who can who gets to decide, right? So you guys are all saying, well, it's beneficial in this way and it's worse than in this way. But the fundamental question is, who decides? Who decides what is done with this? Like, do you get to decide for someone else that you know better how to monetize their stuff and you know better than them how to properly market the stuff and, and make sure that they're maximizing? Well, I don't. Revenue? Well, I don't. I, I don't think I do. I, I know I do. One hundred percent. What the fuck? Be, because because companies. Pay me $100,000 for one hour of playing their game. They understand that the marketing value that I have for their game is pretty, is pretty massive. Yeah. Therefore, therefore if, if I like that product and I want to engage with it and I can make a good argument for it, then I can market the product in no way that they can because of my interest in it and people's interest in my interests. Purely. Wait, hold on, Pisco. Let me, Pisco, let me ask yeah. you this, right? It's not even yeah. about the content being transformative at this point. X genuinely believes that he's providing oh, oh my value God. to the people that is reacting. Yes, it's a new fucking competitor in the arena. Okay, so he's actually saying they should be grateful that I'm reacting to their fucking content and it's giving them exposure. Therefore, I'm helping them. Mm -hmm. That's what he's basically fucking saying. Do yeah, you even agree with that shit? Well, whether I agree with it, I think it's probably true in some cases, and it's probably not true in other cases. Um, so I, I think that the the market for like Netflix would go away if Steven could just host whatever movie he wants all the time on, or at least the market would be diminished. I think because people would just I, watch whatever movies they want with with even, Destiny. Even not um, even close to it. Not even close. Well, okay, so now you might watch a movie, right? Might watch a movie. Which one? Why? With who? At what time? All these components are key. And what it's you're free. gonna watch? It's free. It's nope. free. No, not... wait, wait. You, you, there are a lot of components. There are a lot of reason why you're gonna watch something, right? Yeah, sure. The, okay, so we agree, we agree, we agree with that. Okay. Now, now, you think that Destiny watching a, a, a fly over the cuckoo's nest at three a.m. <laughs> in the morning is going to destroy the ecosystem and and and, and cannibalize the, the maybe not that case, of Netflix? Maybe. It wouldn't Actually, be just maybe, Destiny, right? It would be uh, maybe, maybe not, yeah, yeah. Maybe not that case. But now imagine that everyone, right? Because you're not going to say that Destiny has better or more or less rights than someone else, right? Everyone else is similarly situated to Destiny. You have hundreds in the sense of thousands of streams. Have, right? They should they should have the same rights. At least you agree with that, right, X? Wait, wait, wait. sorry. What Every, was that? Everyone should have the same right to stream Oppenheimer that Destiny or you have, right? Oh, yeah. absolutely, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, no, oh no, not. no. Wait, wait, right. No. So I'll leave you guys. No, no, hear him out. Hear him out. <laughs> Wait, why not? Why not? Um, because when it comes down to that form of content, the the um, the people okay. So when it comes to that content, this is a watch party. It's a little bit different than just than just react, right? It's a little bit different. Uh, in in my opinion, in my opinion, watch parties have to be a little more pure. It's why a lot of times they ask you to have camera upper left at small pixels. It's a it, uh, the, the 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 actual finished product of, of the react. They expect it to be. Not to transform it actually. They don't want to do that too much because uh, um, it's just their vision for it. And I actually agree with that. I, I generally agree with that. And it's why some people, that if they want to be full cam almost or three quarters of the cam with their dick out, well, that's bad for the creative vision that was behind the, 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 the movie initially. And I should be able to respect that. Oh, and it's why you do case wait, wait, by case wait, basis. No, no, no. You're, you're, right. you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Everyone should be able to because so long as people find it transformative, then that's it. Right? There you, wait, okay. So that's no, 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 what no, no, Abba's. No, no, no. Well, but guy, XUC is saying the community needs to be there. If you don't have one, yeah. So 20 viewer Andes, 20 viewer Andes can all have their movie streams. And I, so now I, you have sure, every sure. single movie has their own 20 if, viewer Andy stream on it. And you do it every 20 viewer. Exactly. That has to be. And to be honest with you, if you make if you make the limit twenty viewers as well, you can just bot twenty. Yeah, sure. I don't know why you couldn't. And yeah, you're right. You're right. So what you're saying is that is that is is that um there's an overlap in market with a certain movie or certain movies. And basically, what you're saying is that some guy that wants to watch Narnia will watch Destiny, right? When he's scratching his balls, when the video has eight minutes of runtime left, right? Because they probably miss the start time. They don't care about it. And then they'll click in and like, I can watch it while I watch Narnia. He clicks in, wait, wait, he's, wait. he's cutting his balls for eight minutes. But, no, that doesn't cannibalize the market. X, if on if on Monday, Destiny watches Narnia, Tuesday, Star Wars, Thursday, Indiana Jones, when I go to watch Star Wars on Wednesday, I just look at Destiny's VOD and load up the chat, right? Then I create an ecosystem yeah. <laughs> where his movie choice is good, and I would like that. And Destiny has value at that point, past the value of the movie itself. But, Holy but that shit! He can just he can just host the movies, all the vods of every single movie he's ever watched with the chat right next to it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And if people love it, that's great. If, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something even more weird. I think. Oh, you uh, agree with this? Out? You, you agree with this, this, this dystopian I, universe? 
Hey, hey, this listen. is how your face should be. Yeah, they, they laugh. They, you guys, you guys laugh, and I'll be right one day, and you're gonna look like a bunch of fucking clowns, bro. I, I, think, That's, I think if the market, and you will be bald and broke. True. <laughs> I think if the market is demanding for it, I think we're we're essentially uh, barring people from a product that they would actually really like. So I think it's bad for that reason. Uh, and and I think if the product they want is free movies, we bar people the product from products they, they like is, all the time. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. And, and, and I think there's a, probably a world in there where I think some form of revenue sharing would be necessary. I think that's something that you could reasonably talk to me where it's like, you know, if, if we're going to create this experience, which is better than the original piece of art, then I think there should be a revenue split for the original creator in a way that's equitable. Okay. Yeah, well, the, I that think would that be something be... I would think would be reasonable. The better oh, point, Abba, is everyone, why would oh, for everyone, for everyone who watches the director for, for, for a large segment of the audience who are watching these reactors or whatever it is, for them, the, the content that they're react they're watching uh, from the React channels is superior to the original. And so I think there's a service being rendered that I think we would be robbing people of. One. Yeah. I think well, there's, there's, a, but there's, there's no incentive to make it anymore. There. What was that? There's no incentive to create this stuff anymore. You're wrong if we don't. If, 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 this is why I said if there was an equitable revenue share. Specific. Okay, so is X going to stop giving revenue to the videos he covers? Get, they oh, can't oh. even get healthcare. They can't even get like profit sharing. And you want to take out their like last about amount of income from Hollywood. Oh, There's a big strike God. right now from we'll the writers. Hassan! 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 out! <laughs> what the I, fuck, I, man? I disagree. I disagree because. Even though there's a huge market for this React stuff, a lot of people still like watching it the original way in in the format that it was meant to be. Well, I thought X's point was that we're going to be moving toward everybody liking the social aspects, going to infect yeah, and destroy X the original argued markets. About, X argued against himself this whole night and been wrong about him, his own. Well, but do you think he's right? Do, right? do you think he's That's wrong? Right. But just because he said it doesn't mean he's right about the future. I disagree with him on that point. Okay. Really. <laughs> yeah, I, I disagree that reaction. I disagree that reactions are one hundred percent going to be the future. I think there's always going to be a market for people who just want to go to the movie theater and watch it with nobody fucking bothering them. Okay. Really? Wait, but why did you get the right to the reaction stream? Like, who gave you the right? Like, if if there's a monetary avenue or pathway for someone to exploit the react market, why is that in Alba's hands for Star Wars Episode Seven and not in Disney's hands? Why why do you get it? Yo. Oh shit! Uh, okay. You know what, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. please hold on to that argument. I swear, I, otherwise I'm gonna lose my, I'm gonna lose my idea. Okay, I'm literally, uh, I'm, I'm cutting you off. My bad. Okay, listen. Otherwise, I'm ADHD out of my idea, and I'm gonna lose it. Listen, wait, for, wait for this again. This is actually a decent argument. Mm -hmm. Okay, you would the components that are being misunderstood, and and um uh, deliberately mistalked about. A lot of this really small stuff adds up like crazy. And here's a good, here's a good example. Okay, um um during World Cup for the fucking uh. You know, I don't even watch that much of soccer, right? There was World Cup, I think it was for soccer, right? Uh, fucking uh, football, whatever mm -hmm. you call it, right? And then, and then, I put um, 650k on uh, on a team. I, fuck, it was uh, it was uh, France or whatever the fuck, right? That they were gonna that they were gonna win, and and um, mm. I had talked about it, put that in, right? And everybody knew about it, the whole thing, and and, and, it, and it was kind of it wasn't even a big thing. I didn't think, and I, during that day, I wasn't even reacting to the game. I didn't even have any of it on, right? I noticed uh, after this, after the stream, so you pointed out, oh, uh, look at the stats. I look at my stats. I had like 30K more average views than I normally get. And I didn't pay attention of, to any of it, right? People found value in that little storyline of that little bet. Uh, th to the point where literally there was an increase of like 30%, 25% viewers overall. That's insane. That is a crazy amount of value that, you, that, that you're losing just because of, oh, this has no value, Lola, but you, I think that's wrong. I think yeah, you should be to you, the maximum. No, that's not, no, hold on. That's value to you. And that's not value to the World Cup or to the fucking organizers. Wrong, wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong. I disagree. I disagree. Wrong, <laughs> wrong. What the fuck is that oh wrong? My, I, my viewers, that's wrong. My uh -uh. viewers have one hand on the keyboard, one hand on their dicks, and they don't <laughs> watch soccer. Yet they all cared that day. Why? Because I cared. That's uh, they, that, 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 stream right, the World that, Cup. That's, 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 that's fucking stupid because that still just fucking benefited you. Did they go on and watch the other matches when no. you weren't reacting to it? Wait, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I can say they're, now they're I, interested. I, 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 can, I can say this with one hundred percent certainty. If a bunch of Twitch creators started streaming the World Cup and talking about it, I guarantee you that the World Cup viewership in the long run would grow tremendously. The reason, yeah, massive, massive. Yeah, 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 massive, yeah, yeah. Massively. The reason being is that these people and their influence is a net benefit to soccer as a whole. Now, again, I still talk Are about- you guys communist? What? 
Are you communist? I mean, the no. reason these things are put <laughs> on is... I want to come off of your mouth, Abba, because that was the most retarded point you've made. Absolutely fucking... Is that right. another guy? Hold hold what yes, it's another what, guy, okay? What, get what, away. Hold on, hold on. This, this is how dumb you are, Q. They pay, okay, for, go ahead, they pay for celebrity endorsements every fucking year for people who know nothing about football because it benefits their sport. Having people who can get viewers onto a topic is always profitable. It's almost like you guys took Marketing 101, threw it out the fucking window, and joined this conversation. It is always <laughs> valuable to have people who have loud voices and reach to be interested in your fucking topic. It's always so, valuable on every game. Always, every oh, time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know that the entire argument that X is pushing forth is when I am involved and I transform it enough that's when people get interested. Nobody would have fucking watched Let Me Know's video from my fucking community if I didn't fucking react to it. That's what he's fucking saying. How about and I tell you what? this? How about I tell what? you this? He doesn't have what? to transform it. He could literally just show up on screen and be like, we're watching soccer and it's a net benefit, net be benefit to football as a whole. As a whole. So we should no, get no, to stream the World Cup. It doesn't even matter. Him, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. It's interested enough. In it, him being interested in it benefits the sport. Well, well say, say it then. Then anyone can stream the World Cup. And they should be able to and allowed to. Yeah. Um, I have a curiosity. Why do you think we ended up this way? Why, 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 why won't no, he no, say no, it? Not anyone's out, but no. I have said from the beginning, from a legal standpoint, I disagree with it. From a moral standpoint, I think it is a net positive. Wait, okay, but if they benefit, why would they have made laws to prevent it? Because they're thinking about the short-term financial gain. That's what I believe. Like they're yeah, foolish. Yeah, yeah. They don't realize no, they could no. win. Yeah, so you know, oh, also, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no, let me tell you, no, no. If, if, the, if there was no value in that, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't have music streaming, these days, music downloads, any of that. We'd still have CDs and cassettes. We don't have that shit. Then. <laughs> And, and that's just also, distrib that's distribution. That's not the same and, thing. And a lot of sports have already begun doing watch parties or watch alongs for their sports because they see the benefit of having these audiences interested. That's why they're par partnering up with creators and stuff like that to create those kind of watch events. So yes, it could be archaic. Maybe they haven't advanced in terms of the world of marketing. It could be the fact that they've not caught on to this technology, which a lot of industries haven't. But the truth is, all these watch parties these viewers bring. How about take take fucking uh, what's his name Speed. Him showing an interest in football has gotten a bunch of Americans who never gave a shit about football obsessed with Ronaldo and obsessed with the sport of football as a result. It is absolutely changing the way people consume this content. So who should get the right yeah, to hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let me use your logic. Let me, yeah, one, one second, one second. Let me use your logic out. But if fucking X reacted to Oppenheimer, why the fuck would then the audience, like let's say 60, 70,000 people that watch this fucking watch along part, whatever the fuck, why would they go to the cinema and pay for some shit that they got for free? Which is, why, hold on, which is why I said earlier there should be an equitable way to have some revenue share. I agree that even on the stream, stream, not on the oh, and, 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 uh, and also, I think yes. I think that's the future. Uh, I think also, the future yes. also, embargoes that timed embargoes are fine. Well, wait, wait, wait. That's but, okay, dude. Well, well, does that go for YouTube content as well that he reacts to? Like the videos that he, does that go for that as well, or is it only for yes. fucking movies? What? Yes, yes. I tweeted that and I told <laughs> YouTube to do that actually. That's how much I, I believe in it. 100%. Yeah. What about it? I, I agree. I think there should be a revenue system for the original content. And I'm not even mad at that. Even for me, I would think that was something equitable, even for my channel. Yeah. Well, well, the, the revenue stream on, is though. called copyright. The revenue stream is called copyright. And that gives you no, the exclusive right to make no, copies. No, no, yes, uh, it is. Uh, of course it is. It's not. Uh, Yo, Captain. Yo, Law Andy, bro, where's your degree, man? What is wrong with this guy, bro? Well, wait, he, he, is, he is a lawyer. He is. He is. Uh, <laughs> also, I'm confused. Like, you're saying that in the perfect world, you would be having a revenue split, but you're not You're not making that happen right now. You're just taking the videos anyway. What, do you want me to no, start hitting up? Or, no, hold on. Do you want me to start asking all these people and be like, yo, what? If you how, react... What if you react to well, no, I'm asking, do you actually believe in it or not? If you think I'm asking, stop being a virtue signaling bitch and actually do it before it's forced upon you. Oh my God, That's yeah. what he's fucking saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, actually <laughs> these listen, listen, people, listen. listen. I, 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 hold on, hold on. I will 100% say this topic is not that important to me that I would go through the effort to oh set up. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let me finish my answer. Let him finish. Let him finish. That I would put in the effort to figure out a payment system that would work this well. Now, if YouTube implemented, I would process it and I would go through it. You're asking me to create the system like oh why did you set it all up it basically you're people. just no 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 basically you're just virtue signaling acting like you give a fuck by saying you know what i'd 100 be down to fucking give a fucking rest split with these fucking guys that i'm reacting to because i'm making money off of their content but i'm not gonna go out of my fucking way to do anything because you know what? Wait, 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 real quick. Really wait, yeah, hold on real quick i i th i think we all agree with abba i i think that like the actually the perfect comparison of this is way 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 back in the day a lot of people used to pirate games but oftentimes it's just because that was the easiest way to get the game. Sometimes you don't have the money, True. but like we would pirate music games just because that was the easy way to get it. But if you provide okay. like an easy way to pay for it, people would do it. 
Like, yep. and that was what Steam did. And wait, when Steam wait. came out, people buy so many games that they have no problem like buying games they'll never even play. So I no, think that, we'll see, it's not that hard. It's not yeah, you saying there's no easy way to DM compensate them? the creators? No, no, DM them. It's it's a very easy. You DM no, them not. and you it's fucking not. figure it's an not. agreement with them. This is how you know. And this is why you have no following because you don't understand the system. Okay, there we go. Now call him broke. Excuses in here. Now tell him he's poor. Oh my god. Tell him. Okay. Now Meeting. tell me stop, stop, Listen, stop. Right. Hold on. Okay, you guys need to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. Oh, wait, wait. I know, I know. Just everybody here. The energy is very high. There's a lot of people in here. Everybody yeah. needs to Let's calm chill out. down. The process of trying to get paid or being able to pay everyone would be very difficult. One, if you've ever had to work with uh, content creators in regards to ad placements, things like that, they're notoriously bad for responding. They're bad about getting all these things set up. Everything is a time-taking process. In terms of administrative burden for me, it would be immense to be able to set up the system in place. So Everything so shows that when you make a lot of things convenient, vast majority of people will go that route even if it's ethical. But if you, the ethical thing is very difficult to do, a lot of people will skirt around it. They will go around it. That's true for a lot of different things like the pirate example he gave or other things like that so you're just factually wrong about how ah, easy. if there's no, 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 no system in place if i no, genuinely no, if you, if go, ahead. go ahead oh thanks no, 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 no. <laughs> like, if if, yeah, if you genuinely believe that people should be paid like i probably would as well if i was to watch your video and barely react to it and then in my own head be like oh shit i should probably compensate him for this i don't need like a system set in place to make me do it or to know exactly what i believe it's actually better now than then because i can decide what i believe is worth what i believe i've taken from you Without you getting compensated, I can compensate you directly. I can donate to yeah, you. Yeah, so, 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 so even then, it's not about what I decide. What if you, you, the person I'm reacting to, disagree with the amount? Then we have a negotiation process, which is more administrative burden. That way, if there was already a system in place, the revenue share would be based off an equation that we all agree to. You're talk like a, I'm you're talking about streamlining it to make it, to make it easy as possible. Yes, yes, yes. You're here's not thing, considering all the parameters. Here's the right? thing that every single streamer here would agree with. If there was a way that you could click a button on a video where it's like $20 to have on your YouTube channel, I think every streamer here would be, or in YouTube would be totally fine with paying for that. Yep. Yeah, I think I think XTC is yeah. talking about like the future of different like video watch parties and stuff. I think it would be a huge task, but if there was an, a way to integrate like all the different platforms right. in a way that you could like give permission so that you uh, get like a yeah, percentage and, and, of the and, view count yes, added to your yes, actual yes, views absolutely. and like a yeah, that would be amazing. And, 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 you, yeah. and you know, you yeah. know what? You know, I will go. I will quadruple down to the point where it's gonna make you mauled. I think some of you guys in here are actual like socialists, like uh, the values, communist Andes. I'm gonna call your ass out. I believe I believe that uh, there's value for these companies and some people are really gonna get paid to watch it. Let alone pay them to watch it. They will get paid to watch it because these systems are top heavy as fuck. It is so, and it's unfair. It's just the way it is. And I think fighting that is stupid as fuck. I think it's ass backwards. I think Destiny's the communist. He's the one who says that he shouldn't <laughs> have any copyrights and that it should all be spread and he should be able to make Star it's Wars our content. I, I don't know why you, like, you guys don't think that creators should have any control over their expressions. Um, the whole reason why they're burdens to... Hold on, wait. To, control over their expressions. you got to hardcore define that. because The exclusive right to make there copies, derivative works. Yeah, the argument displays. that everyone in here is using, the reason why we don't really believe in exclusive rights here is because that seems to be a detriment to every single actor in the space except for the person creating the content. That's, oh, why, that's been the prevailing argument. Because you want to encourage the creation of these works in the first place. I don't know why there would be a reason to treat... I the mean, reason why are, are, copyright... Hold on. Oh, you didn't reason, know what I was going to ask, right? Well, but what you just said doesn't make sense. Okay, the yeah, reason yeah. why well, you have an exclusive right to create copies is because you're protecting a potential future revenue stream. 99% of the time. That's why we talk about exclusive copyrights. But Not always. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not always. We were just talking before. XQC mentioned that one of the reasons why he wants exclusive rights to copies is he doesn't want to be associated with any bad people who are making poisonous shirts or who are making bad shirts. And so yeah. the copyright uh, Wait, you know, is, is true, more than just copyright, monetary. Copyright already doesn't moral protect rights you too. from that. Copyright already doesn't protect you from that necessarily. Tell me more about that. There are, there are ways, theoretically, that people can incorporate things into their content that you don't want to be associated with. I might not want to be associated with Ben Shapiro in any way, size, shape, or form. That doesn't mean that he can't co uh, cover my commentary with some fair use. Well, that's because, okay, now you're mistaken, because now what you're talking about is whether or not your copyright extends to cover fair uses of your work, which of course it doesn't. No sure, one's talking about that. I'm just saying that. that if your entire point of copyright was to protect you from being associated with things you don't want to associate with, that doesn't make sense because fair use defeats that point. So that argument makes no sense. But no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> that, it doesn't defeat that argument. It's it, So if you are... Uh, someone who's going to be infringed upon, there are a lot of situations in which you might not want that monetary stream. You might not agree with having, uh, you might not agree with Netflix. You might not agree with movies on demand. You might not, you, you ever read Calvin and Hobbes, anybody? Uh, well, there's, sure. It's the kid and the, the tiger thing. Uh, he didn't want any of his stuff made into movies because he just didn't want it. And his copyright protected 
derivative works. And so no movies about Calvin and Hobbes <laughs> exist. You might disagree with it, but the copyright extends to protect those interests. Sure, it could, but I think the argument it that we're does. making here Don't before, just say it could because you it, lost it, that it, argument. Most of, most of your arguments are completely defeated. <laughs> by, if you, oh, oh no, you just lost that argument. You said it was all about monetary streams and you were totally wrong. The main purpose that we're talking about in here is generally monetary streams. That's what everybody here has been talking about. The you might be talking right? about that, but it's that's not That's what just we're all talking streams. about. You okay. might want to talk about something, but that's what all of us well, are talking about. Well, you recognize that other people care about copyright for other reasons besides you. Well, all of us in here are talking about the ability to lose money on your content. And so far, that's Well, not anymore. Now we're talking about more than that because I'm Well, and Destiny, remember, you mentioned. That's one of the reasons why most people in here didn't care as much about it. Remember, you mentioned okay. people like tearing up your work and repurposing it for their own like purposes. You'd want to be able to protect against that as well, right? Theoretically, but they can do that in a fair use way that you might still have a problem with. Um, I wouldn't if it was fair use. If it actually qualifies, because that sounds like criticism. That's fine, but there are some people, for instance, that I would, if I, if I had my choice, I might never want them criticizing my work. I might never want, like, Nick Fuentes or the Stormfront, like, using any part of my content to spread their message. But they might have a fair use application that would allow them to do so. At that point, yeah, so I would. I mean, I think they should be allowed to do that even if you don't want That's them to. That's fine. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just saying that if your original intention of the fair use here, or the original intention of copyright is I don't want to be associated with certain people, it doesn't necessarily protect you from that. Fair enough. What it should protect you, what it should protect you, the primary purpose of copyright is what it should protect you for, is the exclusive right to make copies of your content in a non-transformative way to... to and derivative works, right? And you derivative think that, works. The, okay, the, the, and, and other stuff. Non-transformative? Wait, no, a, a derivative work is very transformative, isn't it? Don't you agree? I thought the whole point of a derivative work was that it didn't meet the standards for transformative. Well, a, a derivative work is one of the many exclusive rights that copyright gives you. Do you mean and like so a if you want to make... Yeah, like a sequel, like a um, a different version of the same yeah. thing. Like, let's say, that, remember those Game Boy versions of movies, right? That's a derivative work of the original movie. I don't know the, the original Pokemon movie. Maybe you have a Game Boy version of that. That that you you have the right to make it, or maybe you don't want someone to be transforming okay, your what work. I said, what I just said can apply to derivative works as well, and I don't think it changes what I said. Yeah, but why? Like, why do you think that copyright should have so little consideration that anyone can make? You know, just by uh, do you agree with Abba that just by having a chat, you should be able to like? Yeah, I was actually going to ask if you consider that anything? transformative, Destiny. Do you personally think that's transformative? As I, I would never use transformative in a casual sense. I would use transformative in terms of like the law and transformative. Just having a chat there probably doesn't meet that standard. You don't like have okay. your own view on what transformative should qualify as, rather than what the law is. Oh, uh, here it comes, guys. We're gonna have an era of people that are just changing the color schemes, doing using chroma keys or opacity and backwards fucking reversal, like half time, the 0 0.8 time fucking bullshit. It's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> you don't want none of that. So I swear you don't want that. Or the guy who watches the UFC through his glasses or like, like fake playing the game. Oh man, I. Bro. We've been through these fucking hoops before. Yes, sir. Can I, can I ask a question real quick? As a um, small content creator. Wait, 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 uh, hold on. Wait, there's so many people in here. Why? Yo, 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 yo. It's Philly. It's Philly. Let him go. Wait, it's, it's going to be Destiny. It'll okay, be real go, quick. quick I'm not, go. Yeah. So as a small content creator, if according to Ava and X XQC, like if so, if my content is like, like I make a lot of um, like videos about gang violence and stuff. So say like a very racist, like the neo-Nazis got a hold of my video. Mm -hmm. And they made they made a video reacting to it, but was just saying like a bunch of racist shit and just completely um, distorting my work. I should have no recourse in that. Like, is that what well, you guys correct. are? are no, no, that is that's how the law works right now, and that probably yeah. should be the case. If somebody's making fair commentary or criticism on your work, then they, that is a protected right in the United States. Yeah. But what if it isn't fair commentary and criticism? What, what if it's just it like fall under copyright protections? You could DMCA it or sue them. But I think the law accounts right. for both sides of these. Yeah. But I'm well, talking what, about your perfect will. You guys are argue, yeah, what you guys are arguing for is that I shouldn't have any recourse in that. Oh, is that what you guys said? Well, yeah, X, because your argument theoretically earlier was that like if people want yeah. to take and use your content, then they should just be allowed yeah, to. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's just whenever you put it in a harsh way, you kind of baiting me and make an argument that will make me look like a racist or some shit, which is really odd. To be honest, because I don't, because I, I gen generally like. I I still hold my argument. I just don't want to say, "Whoa, guys! Well, yeah, you should be allowed to be racist." Well, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, I, and right, also, but what you're that, arguing for would would allow for that. Like, there, there's no uh, caveat that says what like how you should be can behave. What you're saying is, I should have full rights to 
do whatever I want with this person's content as long as I'm, you know, there reacting to it, as long as Chet's there, I can, you know, basically do whatever I want with this person's content. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I still agree. I mean, we still do that to this day, though, don't we? We use old books and old things that were meant to be used a certain way, and we, we reference it, and then we use it in and, 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 uh, uh, commentary and whatever the fuck, and we go directly against it. And I, I think that's still within the bound of the laws, and if anything, that's fair enough. Okay. Um, all right, I'm, I'm not here to argue. I just wanted to just ask that real quick. All right, thanks. Bye. Be careful. Okay, quick update to everybody in chat. Alba had to leave the call because he's busy wiping XQC's cum off of his fucking mouth. Number one. Number Bro, two, your arguments are your argue, little your dog arguments shit. literally don't make sh any fucking sense. You know that, right? You're saying because Stop. I have okay, a lot of fucking- This guy's like John Zerka on two hold books. On. Like, hold holy on. shit. Okay, don't fucking do that shit. That's fucking pathetic. Number one. Number two, your argument is because I have a lot of fucking clout. I should react and do whatever the fuck I want because I'm providing value in terms of fucking viewership. Now, of course, you're not making any fu any fucking money, let me know, or fucking Nolan with your fucking Oppenheimer movie, but you should be grateful that I'm getting people into your shit in the future. That's a terrible fucking argument. If okay. I saw all of your fucking VODs and I just uploaded everything and I started making fuck ton of money without you doing shit because in reality, you don't do shit. You're not fucking Jinx or Flight or any of these 2016, right. 17 YouTubers that actually transform the content that they watch. Most streamers are lazy as fuck. You basically don't do shit with your bro, reaction. You just sit bro, there and bro. fucking pull funny faces. Is this guy trolling? Bro, Flight will literally fall asleep on or smoke weed during content. What are you talking about? Is this guy high? Second. You literally fight that shit. Oh my God. You literally betrayed your own fucking argument right now. You're saying by you just sitting there and you having your own fucking clout. That just helps it. So if Flight no. is fucking doing the same thing, it's transformative to you, no? Yes, yes. All I'm saying is that I think there's a world where that ecosystem is fine. And people are like, yeah, I want that. This is good. And I only people should go on it. No, it's no the fault. And ask permission. Bro, I, you can talk, you can, you can interact, you can, you can make these systems work. You can make like libraries and shit. There's ways to do it. No, listen. I think we agree. First of all, I fuck with React content. I like React content since 2017. I think React content is dope. As long as you're fucking giving credit to the guy who fucking made the video, and For as sure. long as they're cool with it, if they're cool with it, then it's it's fine. If let me know said, yo, I'm cool with X reacting to my he was, he video, was. it's fine. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with you doing that shit. But let's just agree that you taking from them does kind of fucking fuck their shit up. Because that's a viewer that they could have had. Wait, wait. Because so you're saying that the guy says right. yes, and you say no. So if I if I go if I go to your ex girlfriend and 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 and, and I seduce her and we start fucking and you say, well, no, I don't agree. Like, this doesn't make me wrong. Okay. Like, this what the not, fuck? This is not even fucking analogous. This is not fucking analogous. Give a fuck. This is not fucking analogous. If you say, say no, that doesn't. Okay, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking guy that you want to react to says no, you're not gonna react to him, right? What? If the guy that you want to react to his fucking video, if there's a YouTuber you want to react to his video and you reach out to him, because I assume you reach out to these people before. Yes, you react I to do. Uh, okay, not, okay, not, not before, not in the after. Okay, now you do it, right? And he says no, you're not gonna react to his shit, right? Well, the, wait, what? If he says no, don't react well, to my shit. You're not gonna react, right? Targets you could find for this argument. You found the worst guy out there. I will clap your cheeks. Not only did they get asked about. I, I literally have a system with them, so uh, uh, it, it's yes and no's, and some people, I've stopped watching the videos, and it's all fixed, and everybody's happy. I have no problems with anybody right now. Okay, again, we agree there, but yeah. the only place we don't agree is when you say that you're actually providing any value. You you provide value for yourself, like you said with the World Cup example. Your viewership it's not exclusive, it's, it's both, Brett. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. What did Lemmy Neal benefit Ooh, from your shit? Who the fuck? What the fuck did he benefit from your fucking shit? He did People. benefit shit. His video was already fucking doing great. Hey, hey, no, hey, yo, I, I, hey, hey, kid, kid. Listen, listen, listen. Here's the yeah. benefit. You are talking about him right now. That right there is in a value. Right, you just proved me right. Money? By Does he get money? Does he get money? you the talking about argument. him Don't right say now. now. You proved me right. Give a fuck up, no, I did you, you right. spoke about right him right now. Money value. You are mauled. You are mauled. Does he get money? You wait 120 soaking wet. Stop talking shit. Does he get money from the you talking about he him? Got, that he's gonna get extra from all that. We'll give him money and we'll give him views. Yes, it's he will make money about that. It's because XQC reacted to him. It's because XQC is ripping off content. That's the fucking headline, right? What, it's not what, because what? XQC is reacting to him, right? Then why do I care? 
What? Why, why do you make it whatever you call it? It's not what it is. If you're mad about okay, it, sure, you are not, not him. Not you are I'm not, not him. Like Stop trying to fucking you me are not him. I don't care. Him. You're trying to act like every video that you react to has the same exposure as the Let Me Know one. You've reacted to a billion things on your fucking stream. They don't all go as fucking they viral as this They still benefit one. and all of that are not cannibalistic in behavior whatsoever. It is not cannibalistic and there's no data behind it that will show that it is. And if there is, I am waiting for you to show me. Otherwise, your argument okay, no, no, okay, falls let me, okay, loud let me face. Ask you. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think they monetarily fucking benefit? Do you think the people that you react to- Down actually, the line, they, they do. Yes. I don't care, yeah. prove that shit. Look, you made the statement, go prove it. Down the wait, line, they make fucking wait, money. Prove it. Wait, you make the claim. You make the claim that they don't, right? You just made the claim that they do. That's, no, it's on oh, you oh, to oh, fucking you know prove it. Wait, wait, you can't. wait, wait. They absolutely don't. Wait, you said wait a minute. They make more money. They don't. Wait, wait. It's, 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 it's literally all on Twitter. I don't even have to go dig and dig it up right now. I, it literally, it's all out there. The, the, the people have shown stat increases across their other videos and increases when, when React kicked in. Even if, even if a little bit, it's still a positive. And that equates to dollar amounts. And that is tangible. And you're not so the guy say, do not rob this guy. I know everything. Who are you? Well, hold on, you, hold you are on, not in the. No, 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 no. You're fighting shadows. You're being fucking retarded right now. I don't care if you. Fucking yeah, you're a shadow. You are. You are a shadow. You're right. You're a shadow. You are. You are the guy. You are a shadow. Okay. Thank God you have money, cause that's the only thing that's holding your fucking skinny ass. That's right. Arm. And I got a whole bunch of it. And I got a whole bunch of it. So get fucking seated. Get seated and get the hear about me, bro. I'm loaded the fuck out. Holy shit. Listen, X, I don't care that you react to fucking content. What I fucking give a slight shit about is you trying to fucking cope with yourself and lie and say, you know what? These people benefit so much from me reacting to them that it's good for them. They should be fucking thankful that I'm reacting to them. I didn't Listen, say that. Wait, you literally just said they benefit down the line. They make more they money. They do, but I, did, I, didn't, I, 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 I didn't do the little attitude of they, they should take me for that. They should take me. Oh, no, but you, oh, wait, wait. But you also said that only big guys should have these fucking contracts or these things where they get to react whoa, to fucking whoa, content or whoa, watch parties. Whoa. That's what Alba pushed back against. He was like, no, it should be open to everybody. When you were like, no, no, it should be open yeah, to Yeah, like, because it's about the creative man. vision. If you had any, you wouldn't be in this room right now. Bitch ass. You get You're that? In the same room it's me, about bitch the creative me. vision. Yo, What's you... the creative vision behind you reacting to shit, you lazy bitch? What's the creative vision <laughs> between putting before, a fucking Before we did that corner. shit, it wasn't around that much, especially for live content. We are visionaries. You are ancestral. No, you are, you are you ancient. You are bad Conan. You, 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 no, you are old. You are old. If you'd be a visionary. You're not a fucking visionary. You are an Overwatch Andy. You are mad. Popular. You are mad because you you're are bad. Trying. Brother, you fucking found the wheel a thousand years after so? it was invented, and now you're acting as though you fucking came up with a new thing. Okay. And, and what have you come up with except for talking it. shit? What the only thing you that? came up with is the most retarded fucking arguments to fucking cope with oh, the shit that you're fucking doing. Oh, I get doing. it. He's another one of these Conan. guys that's mad because we were banking on low effort when Bro, he's making I, nothing of a high effort. That it's low. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's... You admit that it's low effort. You admit oh, that you're not really I, doing what, I, but you what, call it creative yes, genius. Yes, yes, Where's the yes. creative genius behind it? Okay, tell me the creative genius it's behind you. It's the social the aspect behind it, the chat aspects, and how these are exploited to make a better, full-fledged product that people enjoy watching more than enjoy watching your ass do whatever the fuck you do, bitch. Okay, Holy no, but fuck, then, it's so but simple. Then, but no, no, but then guess what? I could fucking go watch the Super Bowl or I could watch the World Cup final socially with my fucking friends, with my fucking people. And but guess you have no what? friends though. They but you have no friends for it. though. Oh. You didn't pay for shit. Yeah, I have fucking friends, nigga. The only friends you have are niggas that are trying you to stop with the your fucking skinny ass dick. He fell for the bait. Brother, brother, yeah, brother. Congratulations. You fucking brother, made a shit joke. And brother, fucking no, 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 no. You fell for the bait. Okay, the whole point, the whole point is that people on the internet have no friends. And they're going to watch it with, with, their, with their internet people and internet communities. And they don't have friends. It gives value for them, even though you might go watch it with your friends, they don't have that option. Let me they watch you, it okay, they watch you in chat instead. Okay, Dumbass. Okay, 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 sure. All your fucking juicers are some fucking lonely motherfuckers and they're that's parasocially right. attached to you. Yes. And that's why they fucking watch it. Okay, perfect. I understand. Cool. That makes sense. I agree with you. But would yeah. you be willing, let's say if fucking Chris Nolan or whatever the fuck his name is, Christopher Nolan, he says, okay, X, pay a hundred fucking thousand and I'll let you react to my goddamn fucking movie with your chat. Would you pay it? Oh, fuck yeah. But then I'll make an event out of it. So you're gonna... down for compensating people for the fucking work. You're open to actually compensate. It's not only permission. It's Wait, not to only be clear, hey, I think all yeah, of us I've, said that, right? I've always said that. No, I but said he's I'm... also... No, he's no, trying to argue I, right I, now I that... said I would pay them. They can claim the videos. They can take them down. 
I would give him my rev. I think I I I am open wait, okay. for, for so, so, when we wait, talk wait, together, wait, wait. we do some stuff that's fun. Okay, so you're completely 100 billion percent open to give when you react to shit and you upload it to YouTube, you're open to give the fucking money from that YouTube revenue all to the fucking of creator. It. The all shame of money, it. all of it. Yes, 100 percent. I okay, niggas that are complaining about this is retarded. If that's the yep. case, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. If this nigga is willing to give you the fucking money he makes off of the fucking reactions, you take that fucking deal. I don't now, you get, now you get no, it. Now you get it. Now you actually good. get it. But the thing is, my problem with all this hasn't been the problem, like the people that are complaining, is that they complain on other people's behalf. Because the people, the people that are the, on the receiving end or or on the robbed end of it, they don't even agree with the people that are fighting for them. They don't no, because it, they enjoy the, the ecosystem that we've created. Okay, so if the people that you're fucking pulling content from are more than happy to give it to you because they're like, this is fucking cool that you're reacting to it. Yeah. I don't mind. All I'm saying is when you decide to argue that you're a creative genius because of this react fucking matter, you're not. Well, I, well, you I am. Well, to, I am. Well, no, you're not. You're not. It's okay. Right. When you decide to argue that because I react to somebody, their fucking future videos do way better for way longer. Therefore, they make way more money. I'm kind of still fucking getting them paid in some ways. Therefore, it's beneficial. That's the only part of your argument I have a problem with. Everything else makes sense. But when you try to claim that you're actually super helpful, when in all reality, you're still kind of slightly fucking them over because that's a viewer that they could have had. Because if I watch your reaction to fucking let me know, oh, how did I ever watch this video? That's damn. it. Damn. Uh, you, know, you know what? I, 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 it's going to sad you into this argument because we went against, we went against it earlier of, of, of that one thing. Most of my viewers, not every one of them, they would not watch that particular content if we weren't watching it here at that time. They actually wouldn't. The overlap is not only negligible, it's almost non-existent compared to the opposite. You would have a you would have to prove the opposite. When would I have to prove that? Because my overlap is proven to not be there. So you're wrong. Flat out. Okay. I, no, no, okay, okay. Let me argue this then. Let me argue this then. If we're seeing YouTube videos and we're seeing them the same as movies, right? You're seeing them the same, right? You would pay for both equally. You don't have a problem with giving the fucking movie studio money. You don't have a problem with giving the YouTuber money. If everybody, because we're not talking about XQC only. If everybody decided, because you said you're a creative fucking genius. This is, you're a visionary. You're the one who's pioneering the new movement. If That's right. everybody started doing what XQ fucking said, you love that you fucking bitch ass nigga. Okay, if everybody decided to do what you're doing and decided to react to fucking movies, decided to react to fucking content that's behind the paywall, why would they then go watch the original content? There's no point. Maybe for YouTube videos, there's no wait, overlap. We just, we, just went over, we just went over that because, wait, because they wanted to watch it here with everybody us would have because the they have no friends. No, no, wait, wait, hold on. But at the end of the day, you said uh, shit is top heavy and you're against shit being top heavy. You want everybody to fucking eat and you think what is going to help people eat, oh, right? Oh, fuck that shit. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if they eat. Bro, no, bro because at the end of the day, what I'm not going to virtual signal. I, 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 it, bro, it bro, only bro, benefits oh my, you, right? Oh my god, you misinterpreted everything that I said. You misinterpreted, you misinterpreted everything. I, it up. I don't give a fuck to spread the wealth or do whatever the fuck. I, that, 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 I'm not gonna virtue signal that that's the main point here. That is has nothing to do with it. I still think that has positive effects to do that. Literally. It, it is not negligible, the positive impacts. But I'm not gonna say that it's, that's the whole point of it. I'm not saying that. When did I say that? So what's the main point behind the shit that you do? It's just that it's Because I wanna fun. have fun. Yeah. And if you could help fucking people out by paying for shit, for shit you're gonna pay for it. I, it's not I, like I, I, what they, what, I would give them a 10x depending on their size. Yes. Okay. All right, then we agree. Honestly, we agree. Then there's no problem. Cool then. Yeah. That's, that's not fair enough, to be honest. I don't give it that resolution. <laughs> Uh, but start reacting to my video. I'm not gonna lie. They, yeah, they should make it. Yeah, 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 this is the greatest scam of all time. What the fuck? He's gonna pay me 10 dollars I like how he got the Zerka. Every day, Quizno's asking for money. Every time, stop, stop, stream, stop, stop, stop. Every oh, time you're on stream, nigga. Every time. Okay, you guys are done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, how do you? You got your debate prep, Max. How you feeling? Yeah. They should make like a YouTube premium for streamers. You stop. know what I mean? No, you pay for it. It gives them like a cut. Just for like all the, the hey, content. Darius, Darius, shut the fuck up. Kick.com slash Carantos Q O R A. Oh my Kill god. Kill yourself. So, okay. Oh, I, I, you, know, you know what, Disney? 
Destiny, the reason why I didn't react, and I don't think you should react to people playing that shit. You wanna know why it's like that? Yeah, because at the, yes, at, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters with getting people's attention, right, and actually making good, good content is substance. And substance is something you create by doing things of value. And I don't give a fuck if somebody's, if somebody's struggling already, when they're plugged or shit, I don't feel threatened. I don't know why. Because even though they might go there, they won't stay there. Because the people has failed to create value time and time again. It's why they have to plug. The fact that they plug is the, is the reason why the reason why they, play is they, they have to plug it. Does that make sense? So it's like Wait, who asked? Who asked X? Oh uh, my god. Wait, who asked? Like clearly none of your viewers is there's none here. Holy who fuck. Asked? Who asked? Oh, who this guy, asked? Bro. oh okay. my okay. god. Look, there's nothing wrong with plugging, by the way. I'm sure your ass fucking plugged shit back in 20 fucking 16, okay? Listen, you can't knock uh, a brother because he's on his early part of his journey. Uh, well, you're at the fine. end, okay? That's fine. Okay, relax. Relax, okay? I, I, Listen, if I, you're a I don't shirt, knock you it. actually look human. Uh, go ahead. You don't knock it, but what? No, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I, I don't knock it. I, I think, I think, I think there's even comical value to some of it if you provide content. I think, I think, I think you're pretty funny to be honest. And I, I don't have no problem with this interaction. You provide enough content for this broadcast to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to be valued at least with some sort of exposure, right? And when you plug it, I don't care. If you went here and you were like, guys, I, I don't agree, guys, and he said, push, don't do slash, bump fuck, bump fuck, and it's like, oh come on, man, like at least give us some value, right? That's what it is when it comes to react and. I, that's the whole basis of it. That's the whole basis of my argument, especially with React 2. It's the same thing. Mm. So basically, I provided enough transformative content to this broadcast that I've earned the right to there shout myself out. There Just you like go. you did with your reactions, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And but then when you're going to compliment me, at least, you know, tell me you're going to go downstairs. Because right now, like, no, I didn't know you were gonna glaze me that hard. I mean, uh, you know, you know, it sounds like you know. Hey, it doesn't. You know, what it sounds like it sounds like slicker uh, in the early oh, beginning. No, I, I, I saw loud, my jacket loud, slicker. So loud and annoying. Me, loud okay. and annoying. No okay. substance and ends up quitting. Okay, uh, yo, but <laughs> I have all hopes, you know. Okay. I hope that you do. I hope you do well, though. I, I promise. Uh, listen, uh, when you make it, uh, listen. You can say I was your biggest hater. Okay. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. I, I already have a lot of those. Okay, but if I'm like Slicker, yo, King, can I borrow like 10k? Oh, I'm here it comes. Like, what? You said I'm like Slicker. I knew it. <laughs> what? Yo, King, help a brother out. I assumed you helped Slicker. What the fuck? Actually, you but... paid for the whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I did. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He owes me 200k. Wait, does, do you, are you actually expecting him to pay everything back? No, but I mean, I know, I know you won't. But the whole, the whole point, the whole narrative of it is that he should, right? Um, that was the so whole. So you're not gonna say no. You're not gonna say no if he's like. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying no. I know it's not gonna happen, but I mean that 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 that's the whole that that was the whole gist of it, right? Is that if down the line he'll he'll, um, he'll pay or, or or he strikes gold and and boom, sure I'll take it, right? But I, but it was all about the victims, not about the the perpetrator in this instance, and that's why I did it. It was about yes. the victims. It was not about getting paid back, it's about helping them. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Because I heard the stories and it was really bad, so I was like, fuck it. Yeah, okay, I'll fuck with that. <laughs> the girl with the cancer, oh my god. Yeah, oh, listen, yeah. Don't do it, no, stop, stop. <laughs> don't talk about Lupelli. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Bro, it's slicker. Stop. Jesus, I mean, the father, one, the father one was a lot worse than the cancer one, to be honest. But you don't need to get into it, okay? What? Listen, it was kind of cool. It's an addiction, okay? People I, make I, fucked I, up I, shit. I'd love to talk about like the, the, the good things I do, like a fucking like a fucking donator of charity, savior of the world, right? But I did see one guy that I that I helped out. I think it was Luke. I saw him at a party today, and it was kind of wholesome. So you know, I, these are the things that I, I'm I'm being paid back in 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 a, how, how would you say like um like nice like refreshing happiness? story. Yeah, a little bit of happiness like that. So I get I'm being paid back slowly. You get it? Being Steve, back you heard? And good vibes, you know. Stop donating to the fucking Atlanta PD and maybe donate to the fucking St. Jude's Hospital next time. That's what he's basically telling you, little Steve. You know what I mean? I've been Wait. Atlanta PD. He puts a lot of people in the hospital, so you know. Okay, dude. Oh my God! Disney always finds a way to get there. Makes things really fucking sour. <laughs> what did I make sour? Man, that is fucking cooked. Next, next time he's gonna say that they're break dancing. I'm okay. I'm not. I, 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 I'm <laughs> oh yeah, that break dancing on George Floyd's neck was crazy. Oh my like, god, like, guys! Jesus, he had to finish the joke. Like Christ, it was a good joke though. But like, yeah, yeah, that was Destiny's joke. Yeah, good delivery for sure.
I think you're ready for your debate with Ethan. <laughs> no, I think I'm ready to lose, but you know what? The, no, I'll get more impressions by losing than by winning, to be yeah. honest. I, so think, main, I think you sharpened tonight, you know? The main thing to remember is bit. you're going to be talking to an audience that aren't as familiar at all with all of these like background positions you have. I think that you need to make those clear before you fall into like a trap of... Ethan's going to be judging Wait, you on his turns. why are you helping? This, guy, this guy's like the enemy of all the reactors well, so, right now. I was actually going to YouTuber, say, so Desi, do you remember your um, yeah. debate with Big Joel? Right. Yeah, I hate that yeah. fucking guy. I know. <laughs> so um, you were kind of locked out by the end of it because he basically conceded that yes, no matter what the property is being threatened, let them steal it. Like he he basically yeah. gave it. So at that point, there's like there's nothing you could do. Like yeah, uh -huh. sure, I guess. And that's how I feel with with X. I I f pretty much fully understand your worldview and what you believe is happening, and therefore it's like all right. But, you know, I wouldn't do it. I don't uh, think it's the right thing to do. But I understand why you do, and. Um, you know that's going to be a big hurdle with Ethan because he's going to he's going to come at you with all of the worst ways to present your POV and and uh, how it affects the world sort of thing. Yeah, but also people something he forgets is that yes, some of his viewers are like old, but a lot of them aren't as old as him, right? A lot of his arguments come out of touch, and people really feel that. And when you compound these arguments a lot, lot, um, you tend to lose the optics battle, which is the only reason why how I'm going to win the I could win the optics battle is that he's just going to self sabotage in that regard, right? Because otherwise he wins by optics by default, just based off of his position, right? It'd be, it'd be like trying to say that like, like racism is good, right? It's, a, it's like a terrible position, terrible bad optics. Yeah, I mean, you, you, have, you have to hope that your opponent would sub sabotage his position or um, his optics for you to look better in that point, right? Because yeah, like I've seen the clips of him, he he hates you, right? Like he's yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, which is good for me. Sure. I mean, well, it's only good if he acts unhinged. If he acts like calm and chill, and you act unhinged, it's bad for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good for content. Which, which, I have, which I have to make a, a good hybrid of, which, which, which quite frankly, um, I have to do. I think Andrew Tate of all people does pretty good. Out of, um, out of I, curiosity, if there was a creator who built their whole career on, let's say, um, analyzing film or whatever, and then you knew, like inside their head, you knew that they thought, I can retire now because I've got enough of a community where I can just react to videos, and even if the content creators were to complain, I'm going to ignore them. And I'm not really going to react, I'm mostly going to be making food and stuff. Would you condemn them ethically, or would you be like, eh, whatever, it's fine? Wait, and, oh, wait, that's, that, I didn't really understand entirely, because that, that was a lot of components there, and I, uh, so, say that one more time. So if a creator built their career on, let's say, reviewing movies, they had, like, millions of subscribers, and then they said to themselves in their head, but you knew about this, I'm going to retire, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to stream now all these different movie reviews and all these different videos and stuff. I'm barely going to react, I'm going to be making food and eating it and mainly just being on my phone. And even if the creators ask me to take down my VODs of when I put them up with the same titles and stuff, I'm just going to ignore them. Would you could would you condemn that person? Um. Well, okay. I think that right now we're in a position where I think people need to do better overall mm -hmm. for the whole realm to progress in the ways that I think it should and deserves to and will in the future, right? And I think that when you do things that are bad and damaging and really okay. bad, um, I think I think I think generally. People should, um, they, if you can do better, you should, right? And um, I, I, I think per perhaps people should, you know, they, 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 there should be some sort of feedback, sort of conversation behind making them not do that. Because I think that's kind of cooked. Like if it's like really, really low quality. Wait, right? this, and it's, I, it's good to hear that you actually, you do value the, the creators you're covering's position on all of it. That's, that's good. There's no degree. There's no degree. Yeah. I, 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 because I want things to be good. I want people to enjoy more content. I want people to like get baited because it will take more time for the for, for that creator to start losing their followers and people to stop caring and to, to trickle down somewhere else, right? Um, down the line. Because if you think about it, like you want things to be good. I want people to have better products to watch. And things to watch. I don't want people to lose on stuff. You know that sucks. Wait, Mao. Let me ask you this question. Do First it. of all, we're talking about optics with like. Ethan, I want to fucking bomb the NRA building fucking client. So optics wise, it's not hard for X to win that shit. Number one. Number two, if his argument is I'm willing to fucking 10x the money that these people fucking get. I'm willing to pay for my reactions, shout them out, do everything, ask for permission. If I don't get permission, I won't fucking react to their content. How the fuck are you going to push back against that shit? I, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Would, Make sure you get that stay. stuff out. He's going to want to just talk about the fact that he doesn't believe, he believes you're stealing. But as soon as you let him know you're willing to do all of that, but no one ever, or I don't know if anyone ever has requested it, 
Oh, no, I, ha I have, and I've worked with them in the past before, and I felt really bad, and I talked to them about, about what they want to do about it. Uh, one of these examples is uh, uh, Chris Kazar. Um, I, I've spoken with them, and I think when they started getting a lot of sponsors from like uh, the big the gay foundation, what the fuck, what I noticed is that um, they actually didn't want the React anyone to be able to on YouTube, and we just stopped entirely. And their motives for that was just because they had interlinked sponsors that had probably way more pure visions than the one that are authored by mine and my videos React. So we stopped doing that, and it was a very good and understanding conversation, and it ended up being good overall for everybody. So I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, you, if you get all that out early, you should be fine with Ethan. I don't see what he's going to be able to do at that point, because you're talking about compensating the creators, which is something that you make clear it matters to you, so... That's going to be the main thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna... Nah, he's, nah, he's probably screaming right now with his grandma about, about arguing and shit like that, so I'm gonna have to be uh, careful about... Because uh, he's probably screaming as well, right? He's doing the same thing as we are? He's probably doing arguments uh, screaming? Sorry, you, you, Ethan is absolutely not no. <laughs> oh, you asking like how good is Ethan arguing? No, I'm just saying I'm just saying he's, he's probably gonna know about his arguments right now. No, and, it, and I mean I mean he's probably gonna he's probably gonna have his points already. Uh, he probably he knows all of his points already because it's, it's or his views, right? But like, you'll probably know about all this. I'll have to come up with like some sort of like off-stream strat or something like that, like a, a good <laughs> argument I haven't thought about yet. I mean, it is Ethan Klein after all. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm like, we're talking about Ethan Klein over here, not Ben fucking Shapiro. I was like, Ethan has like, been what? on a tear. Ethan has been on a tear recently. Okay, be careful. So you well, really think X is gonna fucking lose to Ethan? I'm just saying, Ethan has been on a tear recently. I think he's gonna get taken completely off guard by the uh, compensation stuff. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. I mean, Ethan can just default to the argument of like, until that payment system is set up, streamers should stop stealing content. But the X has said he's already got it. Uh, it's ready to go. If he's sort of thing. If he's Xing the money that he fucking gets mm. from that content and he gives it to them, I'm pretty sure that's more than whatever that system is going to give them. I'm very confident in that. So what, 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 I mean by, what I mean by 10X is like, if, 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 if that's the amount of my stream, get a, get a certain amount, I would gladly pay for m even more, right? More than I personally got out of that segment because I, at the end of the day, I don't care. I don't want to make... I wanna make Content that people enjoy watching, right? And and it, it, it keeps me to the game. It keeps me there. It keeps me making stuff that people watch. I will make that money back in 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 a fraction of the time, just because just just of the fact people are having a product they enjoy watching, and that's it. Flat out, flat out. That, 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 that's my vision for it. Yeah, because Des, it's hard to push the stealing angle if he keeps talking about compensating them or making deals with them or trying to set up a system that will work with them. If you just said you don't give a shit and you ignore them entirely, then Ethan would have a better foothold. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. and, and I've had multiple talks before um, with other YouTubers. Um, if they, if they, as I said, if they, if they really, really, really want to, I've, I have all the logs of the combos that I've had about people and offering them to be, to be paid for their work, and all of them said no. They don't give a fuck. Quite literally, they, 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 did, they did not want, want the money that the video created. They just didn't care. Same way that I don't care when people join my shit. It's the same sort of ecosystem. Because everybody's like, having a good time, make a, make a uh, good content. Their word gets around, their video gets around, things go viral, things are good, and everybody's happy. The people that are unhappy are the people that are not part of the ecosystem, that nobody watches their videos, nobody reacts to their shit, and they're trying to push the argument of stealing on other people's behalf because they're insecure about the current numbers, and it's fucking cringe. Let me ask you this. Uh, would you take down a channel that solely like i think uh let's steve over here was talking about it would you make if somebody was just making content about you he's stealing your shit but he's talking negatively about you and he's making money off of shitting on you would you take down his channel um no because because i think overall misinformation and dog shit um brings more views at a rate of like one to eight i think and they're just bolstering my content out there and i'm making more money off of their hate than they're making off the video itself so i don't give a fuck what they do and let's see if you don't think it's worth it that that could happen. You just hate that people are spreading misinformation, so you Ooh. would take them down, right? Let's um, see if I'm asking you. you uh, if I would take somebody down for criticizing me? No, for yeah, misinformation, said, no, you, but that you benefit from it. You said, like, if Nick, you would love if you had a way to, like, never have Nick react to your fucking videos or something. Oh, theoretically, yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah, you know what's so you know, you know, okay. you know crazy? My editor's gonna know people like shitting on me, and my editors in these days, they, I feel like they kind of hate me. And you know what? You know the thing you said? They, they post misinformation. Right? That's what my editors do to me. My editors post misinformation about myself on my own video titles, and they shit on me with their editing. Literally. My editors are my enemy. And you know what? That just works better. So I don't give a fuck that much. I have a question. Do you think there's any uh, argument that maybe 
the kind of live streaming space or the sort of video whatever content space should maybe fall under like a different classification for copyright yes because I, I feel like it doesn't a lot of the arguments we're making i'm starting to see slightly more of your position but i feel like working in other like fields copyright has a lot more use than just like views and like just value and, and monetary amount but like also genuinely like as pisco was saying earlier like moral ownership or overall ownership so maybe like yeah. it could be a different class maybe and that makes it easier to be like okay yes. you can register maybe if you had like different like like labels for your content like you'd say okay this is you know free to be completely used in the space and we kind of have that with some but i don't know it kind of seems like that's what this the intuition everybody yes. here is pointing in that direction i agree oh. and that's why i think mm -hmm. having uh i even put, uh, put the, the the existence of maybe having a tag that mm -hmm. says oh um this is reactable or not reactable Right, and then that'd be, that'd be that'd be fantastic because then you can know ahead of time. And um, on top of that, I I think you're right. Some people don't want their stuff reacted to. That makes that makes that makes a lot of sense. And the nature of live content is that you're just doing things based off of people's interests, what's going on, what are people linking. Like, there's a reason why I don't wake up in a day and I go like, today, guys, if we want to watch this, 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 and that. People will link certain things with certain interests, and sometimes we'll we'll spark trends from left field. And mm -hmm. as crazy as that sounds, okay. I I think the early I have used as you as used them as an example like three times in a row uh, today. Um, Andrew Tate. I I think that the React content of Andrew Tate stuff was a massive explosion for the beginning of the research of the name that ended up being in, in the headlines in the news. It was crazy how explosive that the React w was in the, its value and it's quantifiable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Was the university the way that it was set up? The more content you made of him, the more clicks you got through the affiliate link that they posted in their channel. The more uh, fucking people you brought in, you could access his war room or whatever the fuck. So the people that were pushing his content were actually getting kind of paid for it. That's why yeah. they did it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, but uh, what you say it kind of makes sense. But like in this instance, they're getting paid for it. They they have a benefit. Yeah, yeah. I think um. A lot of people like to do hindsight herald, which is like <laughs> after the fact analysis bullshit. Of like, Bro. oh my god, no, <laughs> why? What's up? I like that. Uh, yeah. uh, hindsight, uh, hindsight herald is like a, a, a negative term I use for like the really like fringe after the fact thing. Um, or so, even sometimes the people that speak about the things that Disney talks about, where you don't know, right? Because you don't have true lifelines, or you, have, you don't have you don't you don't have a time machine to go back and and compare the analytics of, of, of an impact, or not an impact, right? Um, and all people like to make conclusions about those things on the fly and, and act like data's out there when it's not. That's why on Twitter, I keep debating it. Bring me the stats. Show me, an, an, uh, show, me, show me a graph. Show me anything at all that you have that this is harmful. And people have failed to do so. Because one, it's hard to find people that think it's bad, that make videos, and two, people that it's bad, and it's impacted negatively. It's just like, there's none. Like wait, almost Dean, zero. Wait, hold on. Didn't some ordinary gamers? Didn't he do that? He <laughs> what do you mean? He... <laughs> no, like, no. When you guys were going back. He never did. <laughs> no. Okay. They, they, none of these guys have substance. They're all a bunch of bitches. What? Okay. I damn. still think it would still be worth, yeah. if if ever possible, to talk to like Mudahar and stuff, to see what would happen. I don't know. Like, cause I haven't looked at all of his videos, and I know Dark Viper has a lot of um, coverage of this, but I'm assuming. You'd never speak to him. I don't know. No, I mean, I, I, I mean, I would, but I think that the history has a lot of relevance. He brought up as a negative thing, or like as a got him, that I reacted to his video a long time ago. When in fact, if he was really uh, upset about it, then it was hurting him so much, he could have took my video down at the time. No, but he didn't. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, X. It's well, because you well, said that you never react to his dog shit. I video. mean, and shit. It, it kind of proves me right because he would have done it, but he didn't. So like, where was the upset back then? It's almost like maybe he wasn't doing it because he was gaining from it, and he, that was good, right? Or maybe he just didn't care enough to fucking take down your video back then. Maybe right, but he cares enough to make nine posts about me on Twitter and dedicate his life to hating me in the past weeks. Right? That because that, that video, no, no, because that video was from years ago. You don't know what the fucking people's opinions were back then. He might have changed his stance based off of people reacting to his content and ripping his shit off, and him seeing his analytics fucking hurt because of it. That could be a reason. I don't know. Uh, uh, that's that, you guys that's... should you guys should debate it. If, like he has this fucking position. I don't know what his position is exactly. But you'd be open to talk to him, right? Sure. Yeah, I don't mind talking to any of them. It's just that the problem that one reason why I didn't want to talk to the other guy we mentioned is that that guy makes made really really weird tangents in the past. Um, 
to like comparing to like other crimes and shit like that. And it's very just odd. And I think a part of his audience could be literally weaponized and dangerous. And I think that's that's just kind of scary. That's I'm sorry. Don't be pussy, but that's how I feel about it. Weaponized and dangerous. Hmm. Like it's the juicers. He's afraid that niggas. Well, audience I think down. I think generally that that comparing um fucking react content to um rape is fucking weird. Jesus. Great. Don't say the R word. Add the G before it. I'm sensitive. Wait, X. X, I have a question for you. Have you heard of the greatest show on Kick called Kick or Keep? <laughs> so why are you laughing, Lil Steve? Yes or no? Did you hear of it? Um, the fuck is that? Okay, it's a show that's run by me and your good friend over here, Lil Steve, aka bro, Destiny. Bro, this guy's so, really a fu- bro, this guy's- uh, No, no, listen, I'm just asking, would you ever be down to come on? I just want to know. I- I'm not currently looking for the date at all. Like, I- even dating shows, I'm, I'm, I'm not- gonna... It's not dating shows. We barely get any women. Don't ask <laughs> why. It's just- Listen, don't, don't fucking laugh at that. But I'm just saying, listen. Bro, I'm- 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 I'm-, I'm, I'm a... hit up Lil Steve. Yeah, but I'm- I- I'm in a position now where, where like- you Women don't need to do the Raj type of fucking show. It's not a dating off show. the board. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't care to like... No shit, you were with the fucking pants and truck and you got... Listen, it, let's not get into that. Anyways, it's not a woman dating show. I'm a virgin. <laughs> he ran away, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, X, uh, no, no, listen. X, my bad. Let's Steve, don't get mad at me, okay? Relax, relax. Chat's about to hate you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Ready? Oh, dude, don't fucking hate this, guys. I don't you know have what? enough time to beat you. Somewhere, Trainwrex is watching this, and he's like, I knew he couldn't beat I chill. knew it. I knew it. This guy wouldn't beat you. This guy just fucking couldn't. I'm sorry. He said women are off the board. I forgot the whole, like, thing. You know what I mean? You know, um... Guys, stop, stop saying nice one, Q. Stop. Stop. Watching that um, Hassan and Ethan thing covering like the the X stuff, it's clear Hassan does not share X's point of view on this at all, except for the whole he just wants to take the content. Like it's I mean, funny it's as really hell. Hard. Uh, the problem is Hassan is like always in maximum clout mode. Yeah. So Hassan was stuck in a, in a weird area where he's trying to appease Ethan while not shitting on X, and he also does some of the stuff that X does. So he's like in a really really weird spot. Like you know? he didn't even mention the benefit to creators or an intention to or talking to them he was just like yeah we shouldn't we shouldn't be stealing yeah we should transform it yeah uh, why would hassan try to suck up to ethan when hassan's bigger than ethan because he just doesn't want to fight with him he shares a show with him yeah they've probably got contracts to extend way beyond just each no one. not even con- you, just, you don't want to be fighting with your popular co-host why would you ever do that well he would if it like meant if it was something super important right he would probably have to no, no. you think Hassan never no, would no he would never would no what if, if, like, Ethan said capitalism is, like, the greatest thing ever? Hasn't there actually... Wait, am I crazy, guys? <laughs> Hasn't there been a show where Ethan is like, yeah, I'm a capitalist, not a full-on socialist, and Hassan kind of, like, baby puts around? Am I crazy, or do <laughs> we watch You might that be right, yeah, I don't know. I feel so, like we actually watched it, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. Wait, didn't Ethan just call out Hassan or something? Like, you yeah, just reacted no. to it a few hours ago. Well, he right? apologized for so it. Do you guys Ethan, know about that? Wait, yeah. so Ethan is cool with going at Hassan, but Hassan can't do the same to him? I think that... Hassan just generally tries to minimize the amount of fighting and drama that he's in. I Ethan will, like, imagine. throw shit out <laughs> quickly and <laughs> impulsively, like, uh, but he's always going to have a thing in his head of trying to avoid conflict with his co as well, like anybody does. Well, too so, much conflict. So, so, so Ethan is the alpha in the relationship, and Hassan just tries to... Yeah. <laughs> he's not confrontational. Okay. But he did say okay. he was like sorry on Instagram or something. He was he was too it was too much when he was getting like wide celebration on uh, on the internet for his how aggressive he was. Now everyone's okay. sad. But hey, if he brings that energy to the actual, uh, when is this happening? By the way, the uh, XQC Hassan thing. Does anyone know? I have no idea. I don't know if anybody knows. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna head out, lads. It was fun. Yeah, love you, buddy. Be careful. See you.